Hi guys, how are you all doing? Hi everyone, are you there? Yes, can you hear me? Uh, welcome to special SPM drama. If you are there, can you just uh, comment yes? Hi everyone. Uh, yeah, can you hear me? If can, then let's comment. Hi. Oh, you all can see me already. Okay, good. Uh, get to see you. Okay. So welcome everyone. So these uh, sessions, uh, I'm very glad that all of you are on time uh, to uh, join us for this uh, uh, this afternoon. Okay. So uh, like as usual, I like all of you to share this out uh, because uh, this is uh, in a sessions where I think will benefit a lot of SPM students. So um, comment, share, and and um, share this in your Facebook page. Share in your Facebook news feed. Uh, share it in your um, groups, you know, tag your friends, do whatever you can, sir, because uh, we want to actually help as many people as possible uh, because this is a session whereby you are going to learn from your um, seniors. I mean, those who really score very, very well um, in their exams, right? So I want you all to actually get uh, lots of benefits. So share it as well because these sessions are uh, after we end these sessions, that means um, around six plus, uh, I'll be announcing uh, the one winner who is going to get that uh, six months uh, SPM revision classes for free. Yeah, so that is one winner. So uh, I'll choose all, um, I mean, one out of you um, that uh, going to um, get this special um, big prize. Lah, okay. So, uh, and I remember that. Um, I created quite a lot of um, limited editions uh, stuff. So uh, I think because you all are very, um, you know, I saw a lot of, someone say, but Minat batch gone. I think who, uh, who is that? Uh? Uh, no foul Mustafa. I said, why my Permina batch are gone? Yeah, uh, don't worry. If you keep on sharing, you'll get it back. Okay. So uh, because this is how Facebook, right? it's not that I'm not giving you, but uh, Facebook wants you to keep on sharing and like and comments or posts. Okay. So share this out. Yeah. So uh, for one who need, uh, for those who really want to win that prize, huh, uh, to get that uh, free revision class, you got to share this out. Really share this out. Um, tag your friends or whatever. Uh, tell them give some good comments like um you you want them to join this okay so uh and also uh remember to make it public yes yes when you share don't no way private you know when you share the privacy needs to be um make it uh public if you put it private no one will see so um facebook will also never give you the batch so uh, i have tuition uh so what do i do yeah you can stay on like don't worry uh, i will i will choose and i will notice those who are actually I'm doing a lot of uh, sharing and all that. And also I noticed that it's one more person um, that's actually uh, getting the another free gift. Just today, very last minute, I decided to give one more free gift. That is uh, because we still have our limited editions, uh, the cap, the shirt, and also our um, this notebook. Yeah, and also uh, the pen and also uh, the keychain. So the, the full set, we will choose another lucky winner, okay? So there'll be two prizes. One is the um, special winner for this limited editions goods for transfer educations. And another one uh, will be uh, the big prize winner, which is the six month SPM revision classes, okay? For those who are with us already in SPM revision classes, can you comment that it's awesome? If you agree that it's, it's like really, really something that can help you, can you just comment uh, great, you know, just comment great. I know that um, you, you all love it. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, hi, uh, Luis. Or oh, iPad. Unfortunately, today, no iPad. Yeah. I know how you love iPad. <laughs> but I like to give you things that are beneficial for your studies, for your results. Okay. So I don't want you to like just keep on uh, on the material and all that. Yeah. It's good. Once in a while, we have uh, material, um, uh, these prizes, but um, let, let's get something more beneficial for studies, okay? So, uh, okay, I want to be a big prize winner. Hi, I'm from Sabah. Has been, hey, hi, Nelson. Uh, Li Zheng Di, CT. Hi, everyone. Share this out, yeah? Sharing this out uh, because uh, I know there are some students that are actually coming in, joining us very soon. And uh, yeah, the teachers are very cool. Yeah, I see a lot of top fans here. Share this out with your friends. Um, 
uh, with them, okay? So uh, those who comment, like, and share the most later, um, I will select, you know, our, our peak. And you got to stay until the end, okay? It's really, really important. I will select you um, and then to win uh, either one of the uh, prizes, lah, okay? So important, okay? So uh, I'll kickstart uh, with um, some sharing uh, about... Um, a little bit about this um, whole special SPM draw because this this sessions itself is to help you to learn more from the top students. Okay, so I'll be sharing uh, my personal tips and also uh, I will get the top students to share with you. Yeah, um, let, let me start a little bit uh, about uh, me myself, introduce myself, who am I? Uh, because some of you are uh, first time uh, listening to me, so I gotta introduce myself. Okay, so uh, okay, let me share my screen, and uh, okay, so you all can see right the screen because I also need to check whether uh, the screen is there or not. Okay, so I'm from Penang. Uh, how many of you are from Chongling as well? Yeah. So if you are from Chongling, can you just comment uh, Chong uh, C L H S? <laughs> you know that there's this abbreviated thing is uh, Chongling High School, so we say it's uh, CLHS. I just want to know whether is there any junior, yeah, uh, junior. Uh, I mean, my junior. Okay, so oops, is it distorted? Uh? wait, uh, let me see. Uh. let me see. Uh, I think it's not showing. Oh, sorry. Let me see. Okay. okay uh okay chongling high school let me see whether is it working or not how many of you are actually chongling high school uh okay sorry uh, for a technical issue why is blur for me uh, hopefully this is full screen okay so uh let me see uh if i make can make oh okay good good it, it's it's now uh, okay can okay so uh I'm from Penang. Yeah, I'm from Penang, and uh, I, I studied. I graduated from uh, Chongling High School. It's one of the uh, very well-known school in Penang. So, um, just for information, I scored eleven A's. And for those who already know uh, my stories, uh, just bear with me uh, five minutes. Uh, okay, I'm going to introduce a bit um, story, unknown stories about me. I uh, okay, you all know that I was a gamer and how I transformed to be a really, really good student later on because of uh, I was inspired by my teachers uh, and then I, I transformed myself, I changed my behavior, my attitude totally until I focused on my examinations and I scored 11 A's uh, during my um, SPM exams. So uh, for you uh, who believe that, uh, who thought that you may not be able to make it um, in your SPM exams or you, you might not get a good result, trust me, you have enough time to transform yourself. Uh, it's only a matter of a half a year. Yeah? Half a year can do so many things. I'm going to share with you what are the important things that I think I can um, help you to um, transform and change your results, okay? So um, as far as you, those of you that don't know about me, I got a scholarship because of I scored 11 A's for my SPM. I got a scholarship by Japanese government. I uh, under this Japanese government scholarship is called Max Scholarship, Mobusho Scholarship. For those who know um, Japanese, uh, so it's uh, it, it, every year they only select 140 students around the world to um, study in Japan. They pay for their tuition fee. Uh, they pay for their um, the the living expenses. So the living expenses is around 4,000 to 5,000 ringgit every month. So as a student, I don't have to worry about um, uh, whether do I have enough money to pay for my tuition fee, yeah? So um, my family wasn't very rich. Uh, my family was um, below average um, family, whereby uh, we also um, kind of like cannot afford to go overseas. So my dream of going overseas was fully dependent, or fully dependent on scholarship, okay? So um, this is uh, something that I want all of you to know if you um, are facing some financial difficulties, especially if your family is not doing very well, yeah, remember um, scholarship uh, is also another option. That's why uh, for those of you who wants to go overseas and chase after your dreams, and I recommend that you really 
stay focused for the next half a year and transform your results. You know? uh, this is the best option for you. And then when I won this scholarship to Japan, my mom told me you just won a lottery uh, jackpot, you know, because uh, all together easily, uh, the Japanese government invested uh, more than half a million uh, ringgit in me just for me to study there for five years. So can you imagine that? So um, yeah, and uh, also this is a, a thing that uh, I love all of you to um, really focus on what you want in your life and really go after it. Okay. So after that, I got uh, I got myself into Tokyo universities. Okay, because Tokyo University itself, um, we have um, it, it's not easy to enter Tokyo universities because um, I was competing with a lot more international students to go into this university. And uh, back then, during my year, the best university in Asia is actually the University of Tokyo. So, uh, you know, in the United States, you've got Ivy League University, right? So actually, the University of Tokyo is uh, also part of Ivy League University. It's never easy. My friends, my peers, I mean, the Japanese native, sometimes they have to reseat the so-called um, entrance exam, just like our SPM, okay, into university for three years. They rather stay three years and four years before, um, until they're able to get the entrance into Tokyo University. So this is how, how uh, people are determined to go into Tokyo University because um, this is the way um, to, uh, how to say, path, a, very, a shortcut to their success in life because in Japan, which university you graduate from is really, really important. Unlike Malaysia, um, you may graduate from some university and people don't really um, cherish it so much. They, they don't even care like which university you graduate from. But from Tokyo University, the moment um, in Japan, the moment you say you are from Tokyo University, it's like 50% people accept you, 50% uh, people will give you business. 50% uh, you get a lot of good deals. Definitely the another 50% is about you yourself perform well and show that um, you are capable. Okay, So this is like um, the, the society in Japan. I'd just like to let you know. So that's why I was so serious about getting into the University of Tokyo. So I studied very hard just to compete with the best of the best uni um, students around the world. Yeah, so that's why uh, for me myself, I think um, for all of you, if you really know that what is the best for your life, then don't give up on that. Yeah, so I was lucky enough to be able to be uh, to to take up um, a course in Japan. Yeah, so uh, yeah, hi, a lot of people sharing. Yeah, continue sharing because all these um, uh, these live sessions. Uh, Will be a lot, lot of tips and hacks about exams and how you prepare your men, your mindset, your mentality to to be successful in life as well. So this is the session what it's gonna be. So share this out, share this live to your friends, uh, to your groups, to your page. Share this out as to as many people as possible. Okay, those who share the most will get the prizes. Okay, so okay, I myself I graduated from um, Tokyo University and. And I actually graduate as a psychologist, but I like to, you know that the, the the type of educations that I took as a psychologist is very unique. That is very unique, and you may not even hear heard of this word. Yeah, this word is called cognitive psychologist. So, you know, cognitive psychologist is uh, okay. You when you look at this slide itself, uh, there are five pillars of psychology. Some is biological. Some is cognitive, one is developmental, social personality, and mental and physical health. So a lot of uh, people out there, they pick up other things like clinical, yeah, under mental and physical health, right? Then people, some people take up social psychology to study about um, um, all the society, the behavior of um, the, the groups and all that. But I myself, I'm a cognitive psychology. You can see under the second pillar, which is cognitive, okay, what I studied in university is perception, thinking, intelligence, and memory. So you know that I study mainly about brain science, okay? How you can um, optimize your brain for certain functions. So you know, uh, for example, now the car uh, will be able to gauge what is the distance like the AI stuff, and then the, the, the car now able to 
the autonomous uh, vehicle, right? So uh, when they perceive, they know what is the distance between the cars. So actually, that also is part of the um, research result of cognitive psychology, if, you, if you're not aware. So we, we understand how the, uh, our eyesight, the visual works, and we put that concept into um, all these um, AI, a, a, into electronics and all that. So we, we kind of like give them um, a lot of um, uh, coding, the logics and all that. So this is what my um, specialty is, is to deal with high level thinking. You've all been talking about K-Bot, 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 right? So that is when we talk about um, high level thinking. So my specialty was with high level thinking. So if you talk about memory, you talk about thinking, the brain science, this is my specialty. That's why I'm here today, not only listening to just the uh, students, but also I'll be giving a lot of tips about uh, me, myself, being a cognitive psychologist, what are the things I can share with you to maximize and also optimize your results for yourself, okay? So how many of you are learning something so far? Yeah, can you just um, call, uh, put, put a comment below? Yeah, someone said, go to the point, please. It's been 20 minutes already. Mr. Low Vincent, I'm talking about main points, really, really main points. If you don't understand these main points, you are going to... Uh, I would say I'm talking about the main concept in life that are going to help you to score your results. And if you are not, if you don't trust me, uh, then um, I can't do much. But I'm telling you, these are all the secrets I'm going to share with you. It's kind of like summary and also a broad perspective of what's going on. Yeah. So, um, so I'm going to talk about this part later on about time management. Okay. So every We've got five students here. Every session, after that, I'll spend like five to 10 minutes, give you some tips, then I'll move on to the next tips. I'll move on to the next tips. So this is how I structure the whole program for the day. So you don't want to miss any sessions, okay? So uh, now we are going to um, start the interview for the first guest, okay? For the first guest. And I'll be bringing, I'll be bringing, wait, uh, let me bring Zini, okay? Okay, so we have Zuni. Hi. Yes, yes. Hi. So everyone, can you hear Zuni? <laughs> I think yeah, they're still having some lag here. Okay. Uh, wait, okay. So give me a listen concept about studying. Okay, cool. Hi, Zuni. So um, I, I think people can see right now. Okay. You are already okay. So can we say hi to Zuni, uh, Z H I and I? I think you can look at the screen. You know that is Zuni, okay? So uh, yeah, Zuni, like, uh, can you just give a very short introduction about yourself, like your own, uh, where, where where did you study and all that? Like, just a brief uh, one about yourself. Okay. Um. Hi, my name is Liu Zuni. Uh, I studied in SMK Bukit Tinggi Klang in Selangor. Uh, yeah, five years there, I didn't move. Uh, great times. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. That's cool. So, uh, I mean, how many of you are from Clang? Uh, if you're from Clang, can you just, uh, like, just write down hi, Clang, you know, Clang below? Yeah. So, uh, okay. So, Zini, just want to ask you, what were the subjects uh, that you took um, last year at uh, SBM? Uh, I took 10 subjects, so the basic package of the science stream, so three sciences, MATs, and the core subjects, and I took extra accounts. Okay, so, okay. So yeah. I think a lot of students here also are taking accounts, are taking physics, chemistry, and all that. Okay, so um, when you took your, out of these so many subjects, right, what were your strongest subjects? Strongest? Uh, yeah. I would say accounts. Accounts, okay. Yeah. So how many of you need accounts one? Like, come, comment below. Uh, like, you, you need help with uh, accounts, yeah, comment below. <laughs> okay. So let's say um, for accounts, right, um, what, what would be your advice, you know, for um, uh, accounts? What are the tips that you can give to um, the, 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 I mean, students who are online right now, like when it comes to 
um, studying accounts. Any tips, like special tips that you want to give them? Mm, I think accounts is for, I think accounts, right, you need to really get the concept. It's it's really partial. If you if you get it, you get it. If you can't, uh, it, it's a struggle. Lah. But if you get the concept, it's easy. And then the calculations just come naturally. Lah. Okay. In, the, the calculations are quite basic. If you get the um, the, the basics, then everything is just, yeah, easier for you. Okay. So how many, okay, when it comes to concepts, right, I think, um, do, do you think um, concept is something that is, um, so something that they, they can train themselves to uh, understand better? Like, is there any tips for them uh, when it comes to um, understand the concept um, in accounts? Like, any special uh, tips from your side? Mm, I would say if you can't like absorb the concept uh, naturally, like if the teacher teaches in class and you can't immediately get it, I think the best way to really uh, nail it in your mind is to do more exercises. Uh, as you do it, uh, you naturally get it la, through the exercises, you check with your answers, and then naturally you will just get the concept. Okay. Because I feel like the patterns just repeat. La. Okay, okay, that's good, that's good. If okay, for those who have questions, right, you can just actually comment below. Then I'll pick up your questions and I will give you, I'll pass your questions to uh, Zini as well. We have some questions already for her, and then uh, if you have questions, you can comment below. Then I can actually um, pick up and ask her. Okay, so to score A plus for accounts, yeah. Okay, let's talk. Let's talk about some tips already. But to score A plus for account, what would be the important things like kertas satu, kertas dua, whatever lah? Like what are the things to um, key to score A plus? Uh, uh, if you really want to score for A plus, you need to be prepared for everything. So like they say, um, they'll give you tips, right? You you find a lot of people sharing like which which one topic will come out this year, which topic will come out this year. But the point is to be prepared uh, until the stage where you don't need to rely on tips so that whatever throw, throw at you, you can, you can just uh, answer. La. So if you want to score A+, plus, prepare for every topic so that uh, whatever, whatever they give, you can answer. And you have more choices also. Okay. So your, uh, your, your point of view is that uh, if they want to score A plus, they gotta master um, all the all the topics, and they have to understand the concept. Am I right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So out of so many um, like topics out there, right? Any particular um, topics that you think uh, is really important for them to master? If you can still remember, lah, or uh, like <laughs> in accounts. Yeah, in accounts. In accounts. Okay. Uh. Well, my, do, uh, my experience, right, I feel like the debit credit part, right, the, until up until SPM, I still see my friends like doing mistakes uh, with like really basic questions like debit and credit. So if you want to understand the other topics, your form four topics have to be strong, like your first few, your debit credit, your, uh, your buku tunai, all the very basic stuff you need to get right before you move on to the uh, other topics. So do form four first, lah, basically. Uh, if you really cannot, yeah, just leave form five first, do form four first. Okay. So um, students, so you now got the, the very important thing, which is uh, your form four actually um, contain very important foundations for you. So if you can't get your phone four right, then um, you most probably cannot score very well. So uh, may maybe last year wasn't an exam year. I think uh, a lot of students will tend like, never mind, like, only next year I'll start to understand, right? Mm -hmm. So I guess uh, don't do not do that mistakes, okay? And uh, okay, so uh, I got some question here. Let's start with how is your time management? How is your time management? Oh, okay. Uh, see, I, I have like a very strict schedule that I follow every day. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. I, 
as a person, uh, personally, I like to follow a strict schedule. If I go out of schedule, I will panic. So I have like a planner here. Okay. Uh, have like little boxes for every day. So I know what I do in that day and I know what's to come. And then you plan everything ahead. Uh, it's very tight, lah, but I make sure to like leave some time at night to do homework and to relax a bit mm. every day. Okay. So for those who ask about these questions, uh, how is your time management? Can you see that a well-planned schedule uh, also leaving some space for yourself to relax and also catch up with your homework is important, okay? Yeah. And I know that um, a lot of uh, boys, uh, you, you know, I mean, for me, I personally, I just always feel like um, girls are more disciplined than boys. I'm personally, like, I, I know some of you all won't uh, agree with me, but this is how I feel. Um, girls are more disciplined. That's why um, when it comes to exams, right, uh, most of the time you see the girls, uh, they, they, they can score quite easily like, compared to guys, like, you know, the boys. So um, for those who are serious in um, scoring your A+, plus, right, you got to really plan well and stick to it. I'll, I'll be talking about this topic again about time management as well later. Okay, so, uh, yep, I also, wait, uh, I think I saw some important questions uh any tips okay any tips for those who don't follow schedule Ooh, uh, okay <laughs> procrastination right and then sometimes you like to go like free flow you see what to do in the day yeah i get that also sometimes i just let loose lah. and then uh i see uh what i'm in the mood to study sometimes no mood at all but you have to force yourself to study in that case i think uh don't pick up like thick books or study notes. I think do practices, like practical mm. questions. You okay. really jog your mind. Yeah. Don't read, la. read lines upon lines. You cannot master one. Yeah, just okay. do questions. Okay. See, uh, that's, this is very important tips. When you feel like we don't want to, uh, you feel like don't want to study, right? Uh, it's good to get some exercises, pass your questions, some practical questions to answer. Uh, I remember I did the same thing as well like, when I, when, when, Last time when I really feel like I don't, I don't want to study all the theories mm. and all that, I just do the, all the questions. Okay, I think that's a good tip. That's a good tip. Okay, so, uh, and uh, there are also someone say, oh yeah, your teacher, Mr. Kaur is here. So, Mr. Kaur <laughs> was your um, biology tuition teacher, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so how, so how was your um, biology study um, go with Mr. Core teaching, you know, since, since Mr. Core is also part of our SPM revision class teacher here on Transcend Educations. I, uh, I mean, I, I think some students are watching as well. So like, how, how did you study your uh, biology? Let, let's talk about um, your biology, since there are some students who ask about that. Uh, he, he makes like very, very short notes, which I like. Uh, he compiles notes. Like, and then I remember very close to SPM, like a few months before, he'll do like revision classes and give us a lot of past year questions, which I feel like is the most important part of SPM to see past years and trial papers because all you really need to know is the pattern of the questions. So I feel like that helped a lot. Lah. And uh, the answers he gave also, yeah, complete. And uh, the notes also very nice. Okay, so you can see that from uh, the simple notes and, and the past year questions, and uh, also um, a lot a lot of uh, um, in, um, questions that you need to do um, while you are preparing for your final exam um, really mean a lot of things, right? If, if without these um, revisions, proper revisions, I, I think it's gonna be tough, right, for your exams? Yeah, you because I, uh, if you if you didn't like study right, okay, let's be real uh, If you you panic like one month before SPM, you didn't study anything. You feel like you didn't do enough. I think the best way to tackle it is do a bunch of past year and trial paper, and to yeah. yeah to really see the format everything. It's the best way to save yourself. <laughs> yeah. So, um, students, uh, now you got the points right. It's uh. If you really run out of time, uh, do some past year questions, okay? But mm. our advice is still start early. Yes. Uh, <laughs> help from teachers. And if, if you can't plan as well as uh, Zuni, 
then uh, most probably you got to um, find a teacher to guide you accordingly la, or maybe force yourself into um, getting a proper plan advised by your teachers or even by your parents you know and then and and, and then put a very strict um I, I was i mean you know carrot and stick thing and and human being we are always driven by either um pleasure or pain yeah uh, if yes. both are very clear about this um by anthony robbins it's like um we are driven by two major things pleasure and pain but most of the time we are driven by pain even more so um, the pressure yeah yeah the the pressure. Pressure. So if you have someone to watch um to, to monitor you or you have uh, a certain promise you promise your parents already i believe um you know sometimes we, we say oh no choice i have to study right <laughs> yeah 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 uh, okay. um, when, when you have like the because i how i train myself is i go to a bunch of classes okay so, in the classes, I'm forced to study. Uh, I'm forced to wake up from my nap. So yeah, that's how I train myself. Yes. So uh, I think the students here or those who are online, uh, if you agree, you can just comment below. Sometimes you need someone to force you. That's why you go to attend classes or you ask teachers to help you with certain things because you know that there is a third party force to force you to, to pressure you to do take actions. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, okay. So, uh, yep. Okay, let, let me go uh, to the, there, there's one question I want to ask you, like, um, what would be the things that you wish you knew before taking SPM? Uh, ah, okay. Uh, you know, you know how like in SPM, uh, they say very hard, right? The questions, and then you try to prepare your best. Just, just know that no matter how much you prepare, right? You still have to expect the unexpected okay in the exam hall you still be surprised by the questions you still be like you think the questions are very weird but actually if you if you just calm yourself think back uh you can you can apply everything you learn into the questions also it's, it's not as weird as you think la, you know you just have to twist a bit with the questions um okay. and it passes by very quick actually uh okay. Uh, sooner or later, you just finish your SPM and then you'll be like, what just happened? You, you immediately finish very fast already. So just get get by these few months. It'll pass very, very quick. Trust me. Okay. So it's like, uh, if they stay focused, most probably for the next half a year, the, the only time that they need to prepare is yeah. the next half a year. Then eight times passes quite fast, right? Mm. Okay. Okay. So also, um, what were your secrets that you didn't want to share with your peers back then uh, when you were taking exam? Um, I think you, you really need to like figure out your style uh, because when, when, whenever you take advice from someone and then you, you see like, oh my God, they, their study uh, schedule is so strict, I can't follow it. it. You really have to follow what you know and what you think you don't know and add on to it because you can't just blindly follow someone's footsteps yeah. you need to follow it your pace so that you yep. can keep up there uh, and then yeah start early la. you build your form four everything your base needs to be strong your form four needs to be very strong to go up to your form five so if you can't keep uh come keep up with the current syllabus go back to your form four first and then keep up you have time later to to study back Mm, okay so guys did you learn if you learn something can you just comment uh yes below then we know that um actually you are learning from this oh and i saw interesting questions just want to ask if you want to score a plus is this too late from now on <laughs> too late <laughs> no <laughs> you have six months you know. you know how much you can do in six months actually if you start now I can guarantee you if you if you really follow uh, follow uh, a routine, you can definitely get straight A plus, no problem. So say from uh, someone who scores straight A plus uh, is advising you that you have half a year, which is more than sufficient to actually score yeah. A plus, yeah? So just make sure you have a good routine, yeah? A good revision plan, a good study plan, okay? Yeah, and uh, I think, let me see. 341 okay good good we still have time and uh let let me pick up another question do you stay until late night or wake up early to study 
Ooh, no, I, I really, uh, uh, I'm really precious about my sleep, okay? I, I sleep at like 11 or 12, that's, that's my limit for a school day. And then I wake up fixed at 6 a.m. every day. And then uh, I do my revision in school. So I go to school very early. Uh, and then I'll just do everything in school because I feel like I can't do anything at home. Okay, so okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll leave everything in school uh, to get like the environment. It helps me study better. Uh, I never disrupt my sleep. Don't wake up in the middle of the night. I, I don't recommend it. Okay. Okay. So for those who plan to burn midnight oil, avoid doing that, yeah, okay? So we yeah. highly recommend that you do a more uh, prepa uh, preparations up front and, and also you can uh, choose your environment. That's the, that's the, I think that's one of the main message that I get from you uh, is choosing the, the very conducive environment for your studies, right? So uh, yeah, I think it's good, good. It's a good point that you go to school early and, and do your studies. But your school opened very early, uh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. They, they opened at like, because I reached school at like 6.45, I think. And then they have like an area with lights. So I just sit there and I just do whatever I want. Uh. Uh, people sometimes sneak up into the classroom, but that's that's not allowed. Please don't do that, okay? Okay, okay. So yeah, it's, it's a good advice. So for those uh, who, who find that it's very noisy at home, you want to consider mm. choosing your school or maybe another place that is suitable, even library, I think yes, it, it works quite well, right? Okay, so uh, let's take more questions. Someone said, wake up early, will study more efficient. Oh, do you agree? Oh, yeah. I mean, what, what do you think? Like, what is your most productive time for you? Uh, I'm definitely not a morning person. In, in the mm. morning, my brain like, cannot function. Uh. I, I study, the bulk of my studies I do in like between 7 p.m. until 12. And okay. that's when, yeah, the, the whole day, after the whole day, I feel like my brain is stimulated enough so that I can absorb a lot more at night. But it depends on you. If, if you want to crawl up to study at 3 a.m. and you feel like you can absorb, then I got nothing to say. Nah. Okay, okay, good, good. I, I'm, I'm, uh, I was a uh, morning person. I woke up at four or five. Um, I studied for two hours before I go to school. So that's, that's how I study. Uh, yeah. well, I mean, got a lot of stuff, got difference, right? Uh, my work, my brain worked better in the morning. Nighttime, I was like, oh my god, I study 50% slow, you know, very hard. <laughs> I'm the exact opposite. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I guess so. So, uh, Okay, how is your time management? Let's take one more question from them. Okay, for those who are actually asking different subjects, right? Because we have uh, a total of five guests today. So uh, we will go selectively, lah, okay? So uh, I think just now we didn't, um, uh, for, for bio, I think especially for bio, uh, uh, what will be the tips for them to score A plus? Is there anything that you can recall for bio? Uh, bio, because... Uh, every exam, right, I remember since Form 4, even Ujian Bulanan, I have this really thick reference book. It, it's very complete, la, plus the tuition notes also. Every time before exam, I, I'll make sure to read through from like page 1 until the uh, exam syllabus. So let's say uh, I study from page 1 until chapter 5, which will come out in uh, Ujian Bulanan. So I'll just read through like every page, every word. And I feel like... Uh, with all the complete paragraphs and lines, I can build my answer better. So when, after like you read through like from Ujian Bulanan midterms and then to next year from five, I feel like you read the book so many times already, you basically can memorize everything. So mm -hmm. it makes you easier in the long run to uh, stick to one book and just read every time before exam. Mm, okay, I think I think that's a really really great tips because um, you you gotta have your own notes. You gotta have your own uh, proper summary of what you learn to recall whatever that you went through before. Yeah, I think uh, if for those who don't have, um, then uh, perhaps you have to start building it. Okay, so someone asking about other subjects, huh? Okay, so that one we will cover later. But at least for Zini, we learn um, bio, right? <laughs> we also talk about um, accounts, yeah. So uh, let's take one last question from the crowd, okay? 
Then uh, for those who already type your question, if I just in case I miss it, uh, you can keep on typing one, okay? Don't worry. How do you feed 10 subjects in seven days? Can you please answer this? 10 <laughs> subjects in seven days? Okay. Uh, you, I have tuitions almost every single day. <laughs> First of all, I, I, I want to put that out. The only rest day I have is Sunday. So it's, it's quite hardcore, uh, okay? Then some days you have double tuition one after the other uh the problem is not how the problem is that you can it's just mm -hmm. that if you want to fit it in you know you just mm -hmm. have to schedule well uh, if if you have the determination you can do it <laughs> and if you're forced enough you will do it you know it's possible okay. it's definitely possible yeah i think uh when when you're forced, you know. So sometimes when you're pressured, you're forced, then we'll yeah. do it. And, yeah, I, I recommend, suggest, uh, I highly recommend that those who don't have a proper, um, you know, uh, how to say, someone to push you or someone to guide you, uh, find find that person, yeah? At least you have another person to, it can be a buddy, it can be a teacher, it can be a tuition teacher, it can be your parents, it's fine, yeah? Find one, yeah? yeah? So, uh, okay. Yeah, so let's take, uh, let's close these sessions. I, I know it's a super short um, sessions, but um, let, let's see how, uh, what else we can do, you know, um, I mean, moving forward. I know because this is like, this is a short sharing, may, maybe we, we will have a session two or part two on this. We will see the response from the crowd first. But, um, uh, but for today, I'd like to close um, the Zuni sessions uh, with the, one single last question. What would be your number one advice yeah, to this year SPM candidates? Okay, so you have six months. Do slowly, okay? Don't rush because by the time like you three months in, you're gone already, <laughs> okay? You feel very tired. So you feel very burnt out. Take it, take it slowly, la, okay? Build up the speed. Uh, and if you need help, uh, always ask for help. Okay, ask, uh, if you don't ask, you never get the help. Uh, always ask and do slowly, keep your pace, don't get burnt out. By the time trials, you'll be dead, okay? Yeah, do slowly. <laughs> okay, so you all got a point, which is uh, you, you gotta slowly, and uh, if for those who plan to start last minute, uh, I think they will get burnt out, pretty yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two months, two months ahead, uh, then when they start doing it, they feel like, oh my god, I don't have enough time. Then yeah. sometimes By the time, went... halfway through SPM, you'll be like, I'm so done with this. You know, you give up on your last papers. You know, that's that's not very ideal. Uh. Yeah, true, true. So uh, that, that's, that's why our advice is always start yearly, uh, yeah? half a year before the final exam. That's the best time to start. Yeah. Okay, okay. I think um, uh, that's all for time being. But I believe, um, you know, uh, since you will also be probably watching the live and uh, maybe you want to also um, see some of the questions uh, from the students and you, if you feel like well, I want to interact with them, keep on, you know, uh, interacting with that is fine, yeah. Uh, so uh, can we just thanks um, Zini uh, for coming on board and share with some tips, yeah. So uh, yeah, I, I think you all benefited a lot. Can we just thanks uh, her? We have more more students coming up. Don't worry, okay. We have more seniors coming up. Yeah, all your questions I've seen. I'll, I'll slowly ask one by one. Okay, okay. Thank you, uh, Zini. Then yeah. uh, we will have uh, Shavini coming up. Okay, thank you, Zuni, once again for coming on board. Thank you. No <laughs> Bye. 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 <laughs> okay, so, uh, students, I know your all of you, you have different, different plans in um, your, you know, studies. I, I got a lot of your questions. Uh, I, will, I will try to answer as much as I can. Yeah, so um, and also I get the students to answer to you as much as uh, we can. And then uh, just like to talk about this part before we move on to Shavini. Give me five minutes, I'll talk about these tips, okay? So um, I, I, I'll, I'll talk about tips from time to time and uh, so that you all will get the idea of um, what is a proper study. Okay.
So, yep. So for studies, right, in life, you have to learn how to manage your time. Just now Zini mentioned about uh, you have to, he, uh, she has a very tight schedule and it is important to have that tight schedule. But before you plan your tight schedule, you, know, you need to know what are the things to prioritize, okay? So, okay, for those students uh, who say, uh, uh, quickly, quickly, one, uh, I, I don't want you to rush. You, you, need, you need to know some basic concept about time management. You need to know about psychology. I'm a psychologist. I'm a cognitive psychologist. That's why I'm telling you what with the best way to structure your study, okay? So, um, share this out with your friends. Like, um, keep on sharing, interacting, commenting. Share this live out so that uh, more people will be uh, benefiting from it. So uh, let's go back to this um, part about time management because time management, uh, you uh, there, there are things that are, there's always things that are urgent and there's also things that are important, okay? So I, I want you to know there are four types of time. Yeah, four types of time. One is um, things that are urgent and also very important. So these are most of the time is emergency. For example, when you are taking SPM already, tomorrow is your SPM. Then to study the subject itself becomes urgent and also important because you need to you, you need to score well in the exam, right? So that is important. But because tomorrow is the actual exam, so you that is urgent. So that fall under emergency category already. Okay, so this one you have to tackle it no matter how, yeah. But uh, this one we don't suggest you do it, yeah, because you can actually avoid having a lot of emergency by doing preparation upfront, which go to the second category. You can see number one is called prevent, right? Then second one is called prioritize. Okay, so uh, under prioritize are uh, things or that are important but not urgent okay so this is where the revision come in the learning coming in it's about um doing revision upfront because you know that you need to score well in your SPN exam that's why it's considered important important huh? but it's not urgent because you've got six months to go ma. your SPM still got six months to go so uh it's not urgent thing but if you don't tackle this number, we say this quadrant two, like the prioritize part. Like if you don't prioritize your revision, then or prioritize your learning, then the not urgent one day will become urgent. This is when you notice that your emergency is so huge until you feel like it overwhelms you and you cannot cope with it. You cannot handle it. Okay. So in order to avoid a lot of emergency happening, you need to focus on the second quadrant, which is prioritize, which is your study, the revision right now. Not urgent, but it's important. So you want to spend 90% of your time here. Yeah, a lot of students fail to do this because they cannot differentiate which one is important, which one is urgent, which one is not important, which one is not urgent, okay? So I'm telling you, this is the time management that um, helped me to score 11A+. plus. And, and help me to score well uh, for my um, uni entrance exam into Tokyo universities. And also, this also helped me to make my multi-millions in business, okay? So I want you to manage and learn this skill, yeah, the time management skill, and you need to understand this. And uh, the third part, which is the protocol, which is uh, not important, and but it's urgent for example interruptions like suddenly yeah okay no offense to um parents lie uh, but at home you got a lot of distraction right for example oh jom pergi makan yeah let's go to eat okay uh you please uh, help me to um like switch off the the, the lights switch off the tv or, or maybe uh help me to go and buy something you know um, uh, we, uh, to, to buy something from the groceries. So these are the things that you need to deal with, the daily life, yeah? It, it's like not very important, but it's, it's urgent. Like you need to do it anyway. If you don't do it, like you, you got no breaks to makan, la, right? You, you cannot uh, actually go and enjoy uh, like 
if you say oh not not uh, not important go market also very important with your family hanging around right so this is called the interruption and disruptions compared to whatever you want to achieve uh, with your goals okay so this part uh well you 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 got to see how you can deal with it effectively lah. then the last one is the postpone this is where it's not urgent it's not important okay so the urgent and important is uh, the not urgent and not important are games tv shows all these are uh, it doesn't help with your um uh your, your studies and all that but i know still human being we need some cheat time we need some leisure time right so uh you, you can plan a little bit like maybe a few percent of your time to do this so that you freshen up yourself okay so uh the reason why i'm sharing this is you need to know what are the things that are important and what are the things that are urgent yeah but you want to focus on the quadrant number two which is prioritize your study and your learning okay trust me if you master this quadrant time management quadrant then uh i'm pretty sure that you will be able to get success in life yeah so it is lifetime skill so the next one uh is you gotta follow your plan just now uh wait uh, um okay so this is a failure in following plan yeah a lot of you have schedule already but you don't follow your schedule that means you don't have the discipline to follow your plan yeah you put nine o'clock i want to study you don't study and the last uh and then six o'clock i want to wake up you don't wake up yeah you don't have a discipline so whatever like zini shared just now about having a proper plan you don't follow it you don't force yourself if you cannot if you cannot follow uh, that means uh, you know that it's good for you but you cannot follow then you gotta plan something which is to empower you to force you maybe getting your parents in getting your buddies in um setting a, a, a something to force you like if i don't uh, follow my plans then uh, i have to do exercise more for example force yourself to do something or, or maybe I, I i i promise that i will donate money to someone else you know give yourself a pressure on getting your schedule and even getting your plan done okay so that's uh two cents for me about time management remember the four quadrant which is the uh, about understanding what is important and not urgent which is the most the, the most important things you need to do right now which is revision and another thing is discipline yourself to follow through your scheduled time okay so this is the important tips okay so now we are going to move to um shavini yeah so we have shavini and uh let's talk to shavini hi shavini can you hear me uh, yeah again okay so hi hi everyone okay so everyone welcome shavini so can you say hi to shavini <laughs> hi everyone so hey share this uh, live out you know uh, i think there are a lot of people looking forward to hear from uh, and learn from your senior shavini as well and shavini can you just share with us like what are the uh, where are you from you know a short introductions about yourself okay so hi i'm shavini i studied in smk convent village and i'm from penang hi so I I I, I'm also from Penang. Uh, I think I think a lot of uh, students also from Penang, right? <laughs> For those who are from Penang, you can put Penang, okay? Yeah, put a comment Penang below. Okay, Shavini. So, what were your uh, what what were the subjects that you took huh? like last year? Uh, I had the five main subjects, and then I had ad maths and the three science subject and accounts as well. Okay, so it, it's uh, almost same like Zuni, right? Is, yeah. is, is exactly the same like Zuni. Okay, okay. So uh, because just now we, we talked about few subjects uh, and mm -hmm. then um, I think because both of you very interesting is that uh, you, you score um, A plus uh, for all subjects. So um, what were your strong subjects? What I think for, for me it was admits and maths. Admits and maths, okay. So yeah. <laughs> that's good, that's good. Okay, students. If you have any questions about Ant Max and Max, you can comment below. Yeah, you can comment below, and uh, yeah. 
Okay, uh, Shavin, let's focus on um, maths and MX. So okay. we'll go about tips on these two, two subjects, uh, okay? So um, let's start from maths first. We'll start from the easy one, okay? For maths, uh, um, what will be your tips to score um, A plus for maths? Uh, I think maths is all about concept and application. So I think if you like understand the concept and application, then you can easily do the questions. Okay. For so, math, yeah. Okay. So uh for those who have questions about maths, right, you can um type your uh this what the, the, the comment below how to score. Yeah, I already helped you to ask. So understand the concept, right? And and how, how do you do your revision for um maths? Yeah, how how how, how did you do your revision for maths? I actually used my homework as my revision because, you know, in school and my tuition, they, my teachers gave a lot of papers and I really spent time doing all the homework and I tried to finish all my homework. So that's how I did revision for my maths. I didn't have any extra books or something. I just did my homework. Ah, okay. So uh, um, you do your homework and, and yeah. the questions given by the teachers, the tuition teachers, yeah. and yes. you, you just um, make sure you, you really um, finish answering yeah. all the yeah. questions. Yes. Okay, I think that is mm -hmm. like um the I think the best plan because yeah. uh, you, you don't even have to plan and scratch your head um what what, what to study, what not to study, because yeah. um, the people already plan for you and you just need to follow and answer the questions, right? Yes. Yeah, like other than this about uh, huh. answering the concept, like when it comes to answering techniques uh for maths, is there any tips for them? Uh techniques. I think you should follow the technique step by step. You know, if like you try to skip the step or something, then you will definitely like not get the correct concept of maths. So I think that's it. Like you have to follow it step by step. Hmm. Okay, All step by step. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what about like in terms of um, I, I think there are few papers right for for maths yeah. as well. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then and then uh for maths uh what was your like. How, how did you answer like when it comes to papers when you answer is there any 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 special things that you do when it comes to answering um questions in actual exam uh actually uh first of all you know i read the question and then i like, try to read it double or triple times so that i actually know what topic is it from of course only when you know a topic you know what type of technique you should use and then once i understand a topic that's when after i, an I answer the question Okay, I think I got yeah. one very important point from you, uh, huh. which is uh, re read the questions two or three yeah. times. Yeah. Um, uh, which I, I know that a lot of students will rush into answering by reading one time. Then they finish everything, then they notice that, oh my God, uh, they, they, they got the wrong understanding. Yeah, wrong understanding, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so how many of you uh, actually made that mistake one? Uh, uh, Make sure you, uh, you read your questions uh, many, many times before you start, okay? So, um, uh, okay, what do you think? Okay, so, and uh, for MX, for, for those who want MX question, also you can ask, right? For MX, uh, what, what would be the, like, what would be your advice for those who are taking MX? Um, first of all, when you see the question, you know, they got right like, but. You don't get scared by that because most of us we see the word keba and then we get panic. It actually it will actually be a normal question. So you try to like ignore the keba and then read the question as it is. Then maybe it will be easier to answer the questions for okay. Yeah. So ignore the keba. So yeah. the normal question just. Yeah. Ah oh, okay okay. Yeah because because my my time no no keba you know like huh. it, no yeah. <laughs> How to study at max? I got another question. How to study at max? Actually, you can't like memorize or study at max. You have to keep on doing, you know, a lot of questions so that you are familiar with the concept and the format, all that. Yeah. For okay. at max. Hmm. Okay. okay. So it's like, uh, you do you do at max every day? I also got questions like this. <laughs> uh, no, like every day. I told you. Like, you know, when I have homework, then I will do the questions for admits because my homework is a lot already, a lot of papers, so that I, when I do the paper, so it's like quite enough already for me as revision for admits. 
Mm. So guys, mm. if you teacher give you homework, uh, yeah. you finish it, okay? Because a lot of people sometimes when they see homework, they don't do, you know, they always thought that um, taking exam uh, is something different one. Like homework is homework. Um, preparing for examination is a different <laughs> thing. It's the same thing, okay? I think that's what I got yeah. from Javini. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, wow, a lot of people say, uh, what was your... Okay, I think I think let, let me choose the MX. I think I saw questions from MX. Now, if you have any um, MX tips, uh, you can continue mentioning. I, I try to find that questions. Uh. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, I think some okay. Let, let's go on this. Okay, what yeah. um, since uh, for you, what is your mm -hmm. weakest? What was your weakest subject? Weakest, weakest subject, subject uh. yeah. But, uh, weakest, I think it's sejarah. Ah, sejarah, sejarah. okay, okay. <laughs> I, I hated sejarah because it's all about memorizing facts, you know. Yeah, okay, okay. Mm. So uh, then how, how did you tackle it? Like since since you hate it, then uh, yeah. how, how did you tackle it? Like what was your shortcut <laughs> or maybe anything? How 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 do you advise the? It, ex, uh, actually, it was like you know expectations from my parents and teachers because they know that I had potential and then they want, wanted me to do my best and then so I had to do it's like a pressure for me to get A plus in Sajada. So that's how even though I don't like it, I had to study it. So you, you just force yourself to keep on studying, la. It's yeah. Like, <laughs> yes. like, is there anything any when it comes to studying sejarah, right? I know you uh, hate yeah. it. Yeah. Any, any tips uh, like how to study sejarah? Like you, are, are you memorizing or any memory cards? I don't know. Like how how did uh, you conquer that? Actually, uh my friend gave me a tip. She said that study sejarah like it's a storybook. Because I don't know, normally do notes also, so I just read a textbook on it. Like, it's a storybook like that, yeah. That's how I study Sejarah. So, so you remember the story of the whole thing, then... Uh, yeah, so that's how. Uh, yeah. Ah, okay, okay. I think this one worked very well. Because human brain work the best when it comes to um, memorizing, not memorizing, understanding... Understanding, um, Yes, mm -hmm. I think understanding story is the key. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, because I don't really do notes also. Oh, you don't really do notes for? I don't yeah. do notes. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So <laughs> you, you just keep on um, uh, reading, reading the book, yeah. Reading the stories and all that. Yeah. Um, okay, okay. I think okay for for those of you uh, I think this is a very good tips. Yeah, because not many people uh, would teach you how to understand sejarah as if this is just a story. Yeah, when you when you see it's a story, you you remem definitely remember better one. Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. from a perspective of cognitive psychology lah. Okay, so uh, wow, well, someone say legend. Well, this <laughs> is you know because a lot of people will be thinking, oh my god, I have to write my own notes or whatever. But I think your technique awesome. Very, very awesome. So, um, do you have any tips for weak students in AdMax? Ah? I mean, your goal, I mean, di different, different kinds of questions. Uh -huh. For weak uh, students, what would advice? For weak students, yeah. yeah. I think maybe they can try to do like normal, easy questions first for AdMax. And then, like, once they are more familiar with that type of question, maybe they can use the same concept to do the K bar question so that you know they know how it, the form that concept is applied in norm other questions for weak uh, students yeah mm. okay okay so start yeah. from easy questions right actually then, even I also start with easy questions then only I did K bar questions ah uh, okay okay uh, I I was uh like you know I was following through all our revision class teachers you know for our uh, intensive revision classes and yeah. uh, the Shamin also, uh, um, one yeah. of her top advice uh, is always start with um, questions that you think you can score for sure. Uh, oh, hmm. then, then I think, yeah. oh, well, that's actually good. It's like you yeah. make sure you score all the points first. Then yeah. it's, you know, don't try to jump into the most difficult question and start from there. Yeah. 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 So you also agree, right? This one. Yeah, I do that for Sajara also. The questions ah. that I don't know, I skip first. 
Yeah. So, yeah. students, you, you see here, if for those questions, I don't know, you can skip, okay? <laughs> Answer those that you can really score. I, I find this is really, really important, okay? So, hope that you all learn this uh, sessions. Huh? Um, okay. Uh, well, how many times, okay, for revision, for example, um, his uh, Sejara, how many times do you do you normally read the stories? Like, understand what, what is your normal, how many times do you do? Uh, actually, before I start reading, like, I do questions mm -hmm. first. So when I do question, I like refer to the book and then I do the questions. And ah. then like for studying, it's like maybe like three weeks before exam, that's how, that's when I will start studying for Sejara. Like really study, you know. Okay. Mm, I, cool. yeah. So you have your questions and you also yeah. reading at the same time. So yeah. once you know like how before. question ask, then you know how mm. to pick up the, the yes. important information. Yeah. 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 I think that's also another way of uh, studying. And for those who find this is help will be helpful for you, um, use this technique. Yeah. Um, what I love about this whole session is that um, five of you will be having different types of uh, studying techniques. And um, the students will pick up, okay, students, you can pick up any tips that you that you think is suitable for you. We are not forcing you to follow um, our, our, our styles or whatever, yeah? So uh, if you, okay, <laughs> if, you skip, if you skip the difficult questions, uh, do you still get A? Yeah? <laughs> like how do you plan? Time management during exam. I'm talking about time management during exam. Let's say you've got yeah. how many hours? How do you plan your um, answering time? Uh, I do, do I do answer the difficult question, but then I like I know I'll spend more time on that, so I skip that first. I spend because I know I spend lesser time on the easier question, so I do that. And then once I'm done with everything, then I come back to the difficult question. But then I was still, even though I don't know the answer, I try to answer something because I don't want to leave it blank because we might get a few marks for that also. Mm. At least partial marks, yeah. Okay. So yeah. for students, uh, you can um, always try your best to answer. Don't leave it blank. I think this is so yeah. important tips. Yeah. Um, okay, let's get to some. Uh, uh, this. How long do you study in the day? <laughs> uh, um, I maybe around two hours, one day. Two hours. For... Yeah, it's some. Uh, yeah. Normal okay. days. Uh, so two hours is purely on studying new, 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 new chapters, new topics, or is it um this this one is separate from your tuition class and all, whatever? Do do you have tuition classes and also studying time? Uh, actually, I use my tuition classes as my study time like that, you know, because I don't oh. really have time for studying like that. So it's like I use my tuition class as my revision time also. Uh. Oh, oh, okay. After yeah. the school, uh, you spend like two hours. Um, e um, either you you go to your tuition classes, and mm. uh, at the same time during that tuition classes, you actually yeah, it's like do your revision. Revision there, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. I think I think that is important as well. So, yeah. uh, so what about other times? Like because after school, you have two hours, and it should be more more time available, right? Like what what do you yeah. do with other, I mean, time left. Uh, I sometimes I like I plan before what subject I want to do on that day. Then maybe I go home and then I do revision on that subject. Ah, okay, okay. So it's like, like uh, yeah, you will you find like whatever um chapters that you are weak or yes, maybe chapters, yeah. revision, hmm. you will fix that maybe two or three hours. Yeah, to go yes. home. Revise on that. Actually, I and my we, we friends, I and my friends, we plan like what chapter to study that night so that next day we can discuss about the chapter together. Ah, uh, this is yeah. Important. This is important because I think yeah. this is the buddy system. Okay, for those yeah. of you who don't know buddy system, actually, is one of the best way to study. That means um you don't you study together and you discuss um yeah. what you learn your, and you can um check your understanding with each other yeah. and when you repeat to your friend your friend repeat to you yeah you get yeah, the yeah. yeah remember more easily yes okay yeah so mm -hmm. for those who haven't found your buddy yeah quickly find a buddy for yourself okay 
Um, I remember last time, uh, my sejarah is, uh, I before we start the exam, uh, two hours before, uh, I asked my friend question, my friend asked me a question, I asked him, it's like, we already asking, oh, this question perhaps will come up one. So that, that kind of uh, rally, yeah, you know. Like we test each other like that before exam. Yes. Uh. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, I think that still work, okay. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. What, will, what, what do you do? Another question, what will you do? Uh, in your free time. <laughs> I really watch TV. That's all. TV. Oh, what do you mean? Okay, okay. Yeah. So, uh, TV is your leisure time to relax yes. your mind and all that. Yes. Okay, okay. So, uh, I think um, different students will have different um, relaxing uh, methods. Yeah, You can yeah. resort to listening to music. Music, yeah. Maybe exercises, right? Hmm. So different different types. Okay. Okay, let me move on to questions. Um, okay, what would be your like secrets that uh, back then you know you didn't want to share with your friends but you would love to share with our audience here? I'm not really sure whether it's a secret or not, but then I didn't have a phone or any social media. So maybe I think that was one like distra uh, it didn't be a distraction for me from studying, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. Because so most of like, us, like, uh, we have phone, like, we spend time in the phone and social media. So maybe it is one thing, la, yeah. Okay, okay. Mm. So for you, uh, for students who are online, so mm. you got to know what would be your biggest distraction. Com I don't know, computer games, like, last time I was computer games, la. Then um, some will be checking social media, Instagram, TikTok, right? all sorts of distraction. Cut that off, okay? Focus mm -hmm. on the study. And you can bring that out loud during leisure time, right? Yeah, it's leisure time. Yeah. Study, one, uh, 24 7. Once in a while, you can relax, no problem. Mm -hmm. yes. <sighs> Who wants to be my buddy? Uh, how many months before you started to study? Yes, uh, one more uh, question. Actually, I started. During like during my trials time, right? Actually, that was the time I really started my revision. Started doing a lot of paperwork, and then uh, that was the time. Uh, trials yeah. after trial. Mm. Okay, so uh, this is one timeline that uh, Shavini follow. So it's uh, before before your trial exam. Perhaps you already started kind of like um, re 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 doing revision for your trials because sometimes trials are important as well. Because uh, mm -hmm. I think both the aiming for scholarship trial exams are important. Yeah, yeah. So uh, you don't want to fail your trial exam. Then sometimes uh, when it comes to scholarship, uh, it, it might put you uh, in, in bad situations. Okay. So um, okay, good, good. So how do you how do you have enough time to finish at max during exam? Did you have uh, enough time to finish at your at max yeah. paper? Uh, last year, no, not really, because actually I finished all the questions, but then I spent a lot of a lot, a lot more time on each question because last year the questions were quite difficult. But then normally, I have enough time to do the questions. Ah, okay. I, I, I will actually you... start on graph questions. Oh, graph questions. Graph questions. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I think this part, uh, I, I, I just like to pull what teacher Shamin mentioned previously, uh, I think, uh, uh -huh. which I want to convey to all the crowd here, which is um, time yourself when you are doing practical questions um, daily. It's not like yeah. your exam only you time yourself. So uh, I always hear teacher Shamin say, uh, hey, one, one question, one minute, uh, one question, one minute. <laughs> Uh, if you cannot time yourself, put a big alarm clock in front of you, even during normal days, you have to train your speed. Or if, some questions are 10 minutes, some questions like one month, one minute. I mean, that's like common question that I, yeah. I answered from teacher Shermin. Hope that that one actually, um, the students listening to this live uh, will also learn as well. Lah. Okay. Uh, can you? Yeah, yeah, I think. Okay. One more question. Uh, let's see. Uh, what would be your number one advice to this year SPM candidate? Uh, uh, these are SPM candidates because of this lockdown. I think they have plenty of time to do their revision, so I think maybe they should start earlier and then plan wisely so that you know they won't be they won't uh, left out any subjects 
and they make uh, make sure their revision is complete before SPM. Yeah. yeah. So, mm. uh, I think this part to have a complete revision is is really important because yeah. I notice some students are um when we like burning midnight oil. Sometimes you only finish half of it. Then you hope that certain chapter don't come up. <laughs> I remember you like because we, we didn't re do enough revision now. Then we hope that huh. oh, don't come out, don't come don't out. Come out. Oh, yeah, cannot score already. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, come. Um, let, let's take one last question. Okay. Uh, and uh, from the crowd, then uh, we'll move on to the uh, to the next um, uh, students. I, I think this this is um. We we have limited time here, but uh, yeah. we do whatever we, that we can uh, But definitely, we, we can keep on interacting after the live, right? Um, okay. Come one last one. Uh, grand prize. Why do I get? Wow, this one is like keep on having seen. Uh, how okay? If you were, I, I know you already scored ten A plus. Okay, mm -hmm. I scored ten A plus. How would you do differently if you were to receive um, this year SPM? Let's say, how mm -hmm. would you um, do differently? Revision? Uh? Um, my revision? Uh, your revision or maybe anything about your preparation last year that you think you did wrongly and, uh -huh. and if you were need to start all over again, you would you, you will make sure that you, you do that. Uh, I think I would have start, started earlier because last year I started like, you know, during trials only I started my real revision and I think I was a bit stressed out already by that time. So I think I would have started earlier so that, you know, more relaxed when I'm doing my revision. Ah, uh -huh. okay, okay. I think yeah. that's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah. yeah. Stress <laughs> doesn't actually give very good results, to be honest. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Okay, okay. So I think, yep. Um, uh, for session with Shavini, um, we shall end here. And uh, thank you so much, Shavini. And can we, thank you. Uh, okay, thank Shavini again. So thank you for spending the time to share with us some of the tips here. Okay. So, um, yep. Thank you, Shavini. I'll see you okay, soon. Bye. Yeah. Good thank luck you. to all STM candidates. Bye. Yes, thank you. So, okay, uh, students, so this part, I, I want to talk about um, in terms of your memory, okay, this is, my, this is my study, my special thing about memory, okay, so um, let me share with you um, my, my takeaway from the um, from perspective of psychologists, what would be the best way to do your um, memory, okay, so this is uh, the actual this is based on science. Uh. I'm talking about science, real science here. Uh, your memory retentions, uh, um, if you notice as this graph, yeah, from 100%, the moment when you study 100%, uh, after 20 minutes, uh, your memory that left behind in your brain is only 60%. 60, okay? So after one hour, you are left with 40%, okay? After one day, which is 24 hours, it's only 30%. This is based on science, okay? Some of you may argue with me, lah. I really know, actually, I'm, 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 I, I can remember better. Yes, this is because you already do your revision, yeah? For those, the new information, that means uh, if you never do any revision and suddenly you just study before the exam, uh, this is the actual graph based on science. Yeah, after one day, after twenty-four hour, you only left with thirty percent. No matter how hard you study, uh, only thirty percent left. So I I remember last time I thought that one day before if I study I can remember better. That is totally nonsense, nonsense. Yeah, because science has proven that if you remember one day before for new information. The less than 30% will be remembered. So can you fight with science? Cannot. <laughs> science tells you that. So for you to remember better, what do you need to do? You need to do the review many, many times. 
Can you see this graph? I know it's very complicated. That means uh, as you do first review, you will get back your memorizations. Okay. And even as the time passed by, uh, you tend to forget less. Okay. You can see first review, second review, third review, and fourth review, right? The more review that you do, yeah, then you actually will forget less. So that's why for those students who do a lot of revision, yeah, very upfront, they may, may already do five reviews as here, lah, okay? Uh, because the 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 x exit, the horizontal axis is actually time. It is actually um, 24 hours or even a month time, okay? So that is the time that you will forget. You can see at fourth review, remember, at fourth review, the time for you to kind of like forget what you learn uh, is so much less compared to if you only do your first memorization at 10. So if you want, you can take a photo of this graph and stick it on your wall. Tell yourself that if you are able to do at least uh, three to four times um, of um, this kind of uh, learning upfront, that means the revision, then when you do your one last round of revision before the exam, you actually will remember, no, you will forget less. To be honest, it's not about uh, you will be able to mem uh, remember more, no. It's about you will forget less, uh, to be honest. To be forget less is, um, to forget less is important, okay? So take this note, and I'm sharing you the top tips why I managed to get into Tokyo University, why I managed to get my 11 A's. This is the reason why you need to understand your brain science, okay? This is the curve of forgetting because the more you read, it's just another summary. Every time you do a repetitions, you can forget less, yeah? That's the key, you can forget less, okay? This is how our brain works. When there's an incoming information, your sensory memory will quickly, very easily will forget. But when it comes to working memory, which is the short-term memory, yeah, if you rehearse enough, then it will go into a long-term memory. Yeah. So and uh, you need to do enough rehearsal to change your short-term memory into long-term memory. If you don't do that, um, that whatever just now that you study, just one day before the exam. It's just a shorter memory and you'll forget very easily. You need to make sure you do enough rehearsal and code all the shorter memory into your long-term memory. Okay. So I think maybe you also study in your biology. I hope that you will understand this clearly about your examinations. It's about long-term memory. Okay. So uh, now I will be, that's all for me. Just a short tips for all of you. And I'd like to invite uh, Angie up, okay? Hi, Angie. Hi. Yeah. Can you say hi uh, to... Where is it? How come? Yeah, let me see. Am I offline? Uh... Oh yeah, no, 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 sorry, sorry. Okay, got it. Okay, so uh, hi Angie. Because of that, I saw the, the, the live viewers drop. I was like, oh my god, <laughs> Angie. Okay, can you introduce uh, yourself? Where um, you from? Yeah. Okay, hi. My name is Angie Lau. I'm from uh, Kuantan. I studied at SMJK Tanah Putih. Yeah. For Kuantan, how many of you from Kuantan? Can you comment Kuantan? <laughs> <laughs> yes, okay. So, Angie, what were your subjects that you took huh, for, for exam? Uh, I took the five core subjects and then Chinese and the sciences subject and plus one account. Ah, okay. So, almost similar, but you are taking uh, ch Chinese. Yeah, uh, yeah. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So, uh, I think for these particular sessions, I like to focus on languages subject yeah? yeah languages because um i've been a lot of students asking you know uh what were your um uh, english la malay la and, and chinese you know they've been asking a lot of questions and uh, so 
Uh, oh yeah, students, don't forget to share this live out, you know, because um, I believe a lot of people actually need to listen to these kind of tips. Yeah. So um, okay, and later we'll choose one winner for those who comment, like, and share the most. Okay. So okay, let's start from um, Malay first. Okay, and let's start okay. from Malay. And I remember in your video you mentioned that uh, your uh, you were taking um, classes with uh, Mr. Tio Wee Sing, our Chengdu yeah. Tio. Uh, yeah. Also, um, one of our um, SPM revision classes teacher, so teaching Malay as well. So, um, and what were your like, you know, your what, what was your experience in mastering Malay, you know, um, to to score A plus? You score A plus for your um, SPM. So, what what is your tips, you know, top tips for those who want to score A plus in Malay? Okay, for Malay, okay, Chigu Tio teach me and one very important thing is that you have to focus on the Karangan Bagian B because it takes most of the marks for the whole exam. So you have to focus on the Karangan first, then uh, then you will study for other things. Then uh, for the tips for like uh, Karangan, Mm -hmm. I will advise to write more and read more to let your content to be mature and write longer for the impression to get chamalang karangan chamalang. Yeah. Mm, okay. Okay. So, uh, because it's an important uh, subject, so you you actually have the guidance from Mr. Uh, Jigutio that uh, you need to. Um, create the masterpiece for uh, Karangan Tumarang. And then you have to, uh, like, the content itself and everything. Like, what what kind of references? I mean, um, what were the material that you used to improve your um, Malay? Um, because now the students only have uh, half a year to improve their Malay, to score A+. Plus. Um, what would be advice for them to improve their Malay in the shortest period of time? Um, I still remember Chigutio will give us one uh, sheet of paper every week we go to his tuition. Uh, in that article, it's about like um, from the textbook topics. Because the Karangan will like, they come up uh, according to the textbook topics. So if you read more, then you can uh, get more familiar with the topics, then you have more things to write. And uh, you can learn some bombastic words uh, from the article itself also, both way, uh, the wording and the content. Okay. So it's like uh, the, for the students who actually learn, um, they, they got to read more, uh, they got to write more, and yeah. uh, they also need to learn vocabs, right? Uh, because you talk about bombastic words, that means um, more... Uh, good words, lah. Uh, uh, yeah, more yeah. good words in describing. Okay, okay. So, um, I think that's important. Like, is there any particular um reference book or maybe uh, you you know a lot of students also they always buy reference book. Like, um, what what were the reference book uh, that uh, you you use uh, for your revision? I use for my revision because I use most of the con uh. Uh, material from Chegutio, so he also write books by himself. So I use books by him. Okay, I have some at here also, like here. Oh. Okay, okay, like concepts okay. and things. Like before SPM, we got one uh uh books for tips that may be come out at this uh on that year. After okay. teachers analyze, then they come up with things that will come up uh, at that year. And the tips is very, let's say, uh, accurate because they analyze very uh, properly. So the answer should be correct. Uh. So uh, I just follow it and okay, it comes out to be the same as uh, the SPN one. Uh. 
Okay, okay. So I think I think that's a good one because when you get the right reference book, like I think one of the good books that you recommended is actually Chiku Tio's book. Um, I personally yeah. I saw um I, I know I know the 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 publisher. So uh, I think uh, also one of our sponsors, uh, Imo Bhakti. So their their books are very quality, and then all the teachers that wrote the book um are, are very good. I think the tips um they they have do enough um recommendations and um yeah i think for those who seriously considering to score um good results in malay or maybe other subjects uh, get yourself a good reference book yeah get yourself i think ilmu bhakti is one of the really really good publisher and i think comsas right i think that's what uh jiku Tio has been very strong in so i think if you want to learn about comsas you also can get um uh, jiku Tio's uh, comsas book la. i mean uh, from uh, Yomu Bhakti. Um, okay. Uh, let me see. Uh, I got some questions. Uh, okay, it's taking race. What about three bars? Uh, can you give some example? How to get more points? Uh, any creative lines? Oh, I got a lot of questions. Uh. Uh, okay. Someone said, uh, how do you uh, actually do uh, in, to improve your uh, mastery of uh, English and Malay, I mean, for languages, lah, what would be your number one tips? I mean, I, just now you mentioned about Malay. What would be your um, top tips to encourage the students to do more? For Malay, lah, not only Malay, lah, I mean, the languages. Um, if you use more, then you get more familiar with the words and what to say and the uh, structure of the sentence. If you read more, write more, and even you speak more, then um, I think you slowly can master it la, naturally. Yeah. Okay. So um, for English, right? Um, for English, what, what were the important aspects in um, scoring A+. Plus? Um, first, I have to say I'm not an expert in English subject, but I okay. can maybe talk a little about it. Um, okay. okay. I once got a very low mark for my uh, essay, essay okay. part, like during my form four time. Uh, I got only 18 marks out of 50 at that time. Uh, yeah. So I really put many effort. Uh, effort in it uh, I write more than I read my friends essay so that I know how to get a higher marks for that so slowly uh, I write many essays and let the let the teachers to marks and to give some comments so I slowly know uh, how do I uh, catch the markers eyes okay? okay then have to practice like I have to say so you, you 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 write a lot and also uh, you, you do uh, reference to your friends uh, yeah. essay and also you get teachers to mark um, your essays as well right yeah, yeah i think um getting feedbacks is really important um and if not you, you don't know actually what what's good what's bad right so yeah yeah comments then it's awesome so i recommend a lot of, uh, all of you uh, who are online um do more and get feedbacks the the key to success i think is about um getting feedbacks a lot of students are afraid to 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 get judged you know they they scared that if i yeah. give it to the teacher if i give my friends to help me to to read my essay then um they, they will laugh at me so um if you if you have that kind of mindset delete that from your brain because getting feedbacks uh, is the fastest way to improve uh, yeah i think uh that is a good point <laughs> okay so um courageous what kind of uh, what kind of things that you think will attract exam uh when it comes to karanga even comes to essay what are the things that you think will attract the examiner's um, attention mm, for me uh uh, mature content is very important because you're already 17 years old uh, the markers 
won't like to see a UPSR level karangan come to their mind, uh, come to, to get in the answer sheet. La. You have to do like SPM level. You have to know you're already 17 years old. You should have uh, the thinking at that. So, yeah, I have to <laughs> just like that. Okay, so I think uh, that is a very important point where you show your maturity to uh, the examiners. And uh, that's why I think all subjects related one, you know, if you study your sejarah good enough, sometimes you've got very mature point that you can write yeah, in your SA yeah. one. So I don't know why some people say, never mind, I neglect sejarah. So when you write a lot of things and sometimes the karangan seems to be a little bit not um not mature enough because they lack that kind of um understanding about sejarah and even some important topics i think you, yeah. you really pick up a good point here okay so uh also what about uh we say getting uh the in chinese what, what were your tips in um, studying chinese because chinese also got a lot of um um wen yan wen, all those um the very difficult things, right? And and how did you tackle um, Chinese? Um, for Chinese, I have to say first, you have to got the passion in it first. Or, um, I mean, because this is your mother tongue, you have to study it, not because you want to get that A+, plus, because you want to uh, keep that budaya in yourself. So once you have the passion, then you have the mood to study uh, this Chinese language. Um, for parts, I don't. I think the most difficult part for me to get marks is the gai uh, su, gai su, the twenty marks. Okay. Um, for that, I think the highest mark I will get is like twelve to thirteen. So you just maintain at maintain it there. You need not to get like twenty marks. Okay, you maintain it that and give your focus at others part. Okay. okay. And then uh, for I think for languages it's just the same. You have to read more so you can get more familiar and a mature content content. Okay. So all of you uh, spend more time reading magazine, newspaper, get yeah. more information for yourself. Um, and I think when you write, then the teachers will be impressed by impressed by your understanding. I think that's really really important. Yeah. Um, okay. What was uh what was your weakest subject? Weakest subject, I would say among the eleven subject, one the uh there was one I miss A plus is the moral subject. So I would say that is the weakest subject. Okay. Okay. So. Um, how would you do differently? How would you do differently um, for moral? Like, um, I mean, th things that you, you think, uh, what, what did you miss out? I mean, in, in, when it comes to revision or maybe it comes to preparation, yeah. Um, for moral subject, I think I don't, uh, didn't put that much uh, focus on it. There's okay. one that I miss out, okay? Um, because at that time, I focus on other subjects. Um, um. And the I think a little bit technique that I miss out or I did it wrongly, I don't know, but maybe it's that thing, the answering technique. Okay, so... Uh... The, the reason why you didn't focus on it, it, it is it because of you you didn't have enough time or is it that uh, you were you you focus on more subjects and you thought that moral is pretty easy to to handle I, like why why would you um, you know why, why, why would you actually have that kind of issue um, I would say I First, I don't have time, of course, because I have more subjects to be care, to care, and I'm that kind of person, like uh, about a bit last minute person. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, yeah, I think that's it. 
Okay, so uh, the lesson here, I think, is um, when we don't, um, you know, when, when we push everything, every revision towards the end, uh, that's where we have to select subjects that we think uh, we, we need to do more. And then we tend to neglect the subjects that we thought that okay, should be okay one. And, and then when it turned out to be the results that we didn't want to, right? So uh, that, that's, that's uh, important. I think that is important. Then let's take this seriously, okay? Students, um, all of us, we need to plan well. Don't, don't say that um, because lacking time, we, we, we let go this topic, let go that topic, let go this subject. No, don't do that. Don't do that. We have enough time to go. Okay. So, uh, hey. Okay. Yeah, for those who are still watching live, we're already like what coming to two hours. Uh, if you need to take a break, whatever, you can go. But for those who can tahan, continue, you know, uh, you can keep on asking questions. Okay. I like to see your questions below and share this live out to, uh, to, to get your friends in as well um, to listen to the sharing. And uh, so uh, I always. Okay, let's talk about how many hour, hours do you study a day? How many hours? Oh, um, let, 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 me, let me structure it in the way. How many hours doesn't really important, but you got you got 10 subjects. And how do you plan your study? Ah, I think that's a, a more a, a better question. Um, because I'm I need person to force me to study like uh during the daily time not before the exam time uh so i go for tuition then at the tuition i will study uh teacher teach then i focus then i study uh that's the time uh. i don't really like put a time for a subject yeah then before the exam then i'll start to pick up the subject that i'm weakest then i start to revise and all that i don't really like i that kind of person are uh, very spontaneous i want to study according to my mood so because uh i will like muscle more la, if i have the mood at that yeah okay i understand uh it's where the when when you have in a good mood we learn better when in a bad mood uh, we may not learn that that good right so uh i think uh, this one, uh, we we gotta have a balance lah. So plan your plan your time well so that you have some leisure time as well study study time. Then I think uh, this mood thing can 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 be settled quite easily lah. Yeah, create the create the run by yourself ah. Yeah, the environment, the environment. Yeah, 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 environment. Yeah, so that's why I think a lot of students, you know, like. Because a lot of students commenting are mostly from our tuition, our revision classes. One, they are taking our monthly revision classes, and then um, they 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 know that our teachers are forcing them to do revision. Really, <laughs> it's like starting from form four syllabus. The teachers are giving them all the all the like important notes are uh, important content to memorize or even to understand <coughs> every week. Yeah, <laughs> so they are forced, they are forced to do revision. Uh, it's good, it's good. <laughs> but for those who are not in, haven't started any revision, quickly plan yourself, okay? Or else to just uh, join us for the revision class and our teachers will plan everything for you. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. So um, let me ask you one question. I think this is uh, important questions. Um, what... Um, what would be the crash? Uh, what would be the advice um, uh, to the juniors? You know, what would be the juniors to, to your juniors? What would be the advice for them? They, 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 they are left with half a year, yeah, and uh, you know, half a year. And what would be your advice to them, given that they only have half a year left? Mm, I think. You have studied for so many years. You have come out with your study style. You just have to follow it. Need not to be panicked. Just relax. You can really do it. It's not like a big, big, big matter that 
you have to feel very stressed and everything. You just have to relax and give the best of yourself. Mm, okay, so that's the tips to score straight A's, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I say that. Okay, okay. Let's take one last question and then uh, uh, we shall move on to the next um, um, guest. Uh, because uh, let me see, because two students are waiting. Uh, let me send him a. Okay. So, uh, okay. How, how do you cope with stress? <laughs> during how do I cope with stress? Yeah. Um, like your very normal ways you listen to music you talk out with people with your friends of course you have to talk with your trusted friends that um i mean losing your feelings out is very important don't keep it to yourself it's like don't think it's not a big matter about your emotions and feelings you have to have a very calm mind before you go into the exam hall. So um, talk to the person, talk to your families and you and have a good mindset. Okay, you need not to be the best, but you be the best of yourself only. Mm, okay, okay. I think that is really awesome tips. Uh, releasing your um, stress if you have to and um, it is uh, to, to be healthy because when you are not healthy mentally, um, it's, it's very hard, even physically as well. The, the, the health is about your mental, your spiritual, uh, your physical. If you want to prepare the best for examinations, um, this is what we truly believe. Okay. Um, okay, Ken, thank you so much, um, uh, Angie, for coming on board to share your tips. And I, I think all the students, uh, if you feel like you have learned a lot from Angie, can you comment? Like, um, comment, uh, thank you, you know. <laughs> uh, she'll be still working on the live later, la, okay? So, thank you so much. And, uh, and, and without, uh, like, until here, okay? So, um, I'll, we'll catch up with you again. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Bye. Bye. So, okay, guys um how are you feeling so far like is it um are you learning something i just like to do some interaction while we're waiting for the next guest to come up um uh, thank you um share, share this out um like because I, I think a lot of students are actually um do this kind need this kind of advice getting tips how to handle emotional stress what are how to prepare how to plan their timetable different different top students that we invited so far they got different um approach different methods so you want to um, let your friends uh, know as well okay so um snow bella oh yeah thank you uh angie you know if you are you're learning something you know uh, can you just say um um yes below just comment yes below i want to see whether you are having uh, a lot of learning here uh okay so this is the best version how to cope with stress yeah okay okay eric can you teach how to find out my study style okay uh later if i talk too much uh, then again got students comment me say hey why eric talk so much i want to listen to top students so i, I better keep my uh i don't want to share so much already huh? <laughs> Uh, wait, uh, let me see. The person said couldn't access. Uh. Uh, wait, let's uh. Google Chrome because uh, I'm inviting uh, the person to come on board. So, okay. So, yep, the environment. Okay, I want to talk about environment. Okay. Uh, this is very important. You know, um, this is a lot of people, they, they are not aware of. Uh, do you know that according to science research, um, um, when it comes to this research, it's interesting that your achievement is actually the average of the peers, the five peers around you that are closest to you. That means uh, if you have five friends who are very, really, really close to you, and uh, most of the time, your achievements will be just average of them. So if your friends are all 
um, making a lot of money, then most probably also making a lot of money. If they are poor, then probably you are poor because this is how we call um, the, the, the influence of peers. Okay, so if you really want to change your results in life, getting yourself in the right environment, right group, um, it is important. Yeah, so uh, you want to start um, picking what are the things that um, stopping you from um, getting very positive vibes, getting positive influence. Uh, you want to cut that off. Like maybe you have some friends who are influencing, getting you distract you with different different kinds of uh, activities on games which are not helping you with your results then you probably want to cut that off or maybe reduce that and focus on the right environment go to libraries go to your friends who are really serious already start doing revisions for the um, examinations that's why um, we, we are organizing elite study study group um, among our students uh, so that uh, they, they can ask questions to the teachers as they see other questions, other students asking questions to the teachers. Um, they also get to learn something. It's like you have that kind of conducive environment for you to learn. So uh, you need to make sure you put yourself in the right environment. Yeah. So if you're not in the right environment, you cannot do anything. Okay. So uh, yeah, we, okay. Now we got Jubail uh to be on board already okay so we are going to invite uh jubile uh, on the stage to share with you and uh let me let me change the screen okay let me change the screen hi one second for one second sir one second. Okay, okay. <laughs> say hey hi everyone of you can you just say hi jubile um, yes, hi, hi. Okay. Uh, hi everyone. Okay. So, uh, okay, Jubel, can you just introduce uh, a little bit on um, uh, how to say um, yourself? Like, where are you from? Which school that did you study? Yep. Okay. Well, uh, hi everyone. Uh, I'm Muhammad Jubai. Well, uh, I'm from SMJK Chunghua. And yeah, right now I'm uh, studying in my college. And then uh, it's nice to see you all at this beautiful evening. Yeah, thank you so much for coming on board. And uh, I think um, for, for me, I think uh, I, I was really looking forward uh, to have this uh, conversations with you because um, I think um, there, there are a few, few things I want to discuss with you that we can share with the, um, our students here. And, uh, well, and, and the thing that um, I would like to discuss will be, um, I know that at, at one point in time, um, you were, uh, there were some subjects that you were very weak at, right? Yes. I mean, before the exam. Um, can, can, you, can you tell me what was your, what was your worst result? Um, before exam, what was your worst result and which subject was that? Uh, worst result, uh, I will say uh, my Chinese subject, I scored the worst. Oh, okay, okay. So your, I mean, I mean for uh, before exam, la, but after exam, like you got improvement, right? So, yeah, yeah so like uh, how, how did you improve like from really, really weak all the way until um, get, get, getting your um, getting a better results. Like, what what is your secrets in that? Uh, uh, I, I know. I think a lot of students will be quite surprised. Huh? Uh, Jubail also taking Chinese. Uh? yes. Uh, Jubail studied in SMJK. Okay, SMJK, and and he started studying Chinese since kindergarten. Yeah, kindergarten. Uh -huh, okay, so he can speak. Although uh, he's a Muslim friend. But he can speak um, Chinese. Uh, Chinese. Okay. <laughs> okay, sure. So, uh, yep. Oh, yeah. Someone say, Nihao. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Yeah, that, that's uh, the, the beautiful thing. It's like everybody wants to learn Chinese right now because, yeah, it's, it's good. <laughs> so, let's talk about. Uh, let's talk, um, okay, let's don't pick Chinese, okay? We talk about generally, like, okay. uh, how, how did you, how did you 
pick up from um, the weaker subject, that means um, how did you improve yourself um, uh, in a short period of time before exams? Uh, well, um, actually, right, uh, many students, they don't realize, many students, they don't realize the uh, some of the tips la, I, 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 that I will recommend now. Uh, hopefully, it will be helpful for most of you. Okay. Uh, for the, uh, the common one, uh, most students, uh, many students know, but I still believe many of them do not know that uh, you have to uh, keep doing uh, past year questions. Ah, okay. Keep doing past year questions is uh, the tip. Okay. A lot of you may not. I, oh, I think some of them are still don't have a passive question, but if you haven't, um, try to grab all the passive questions, okay? So uh, yeah. it's really, really important, okay? So what else, like, um, how, how did you improve your subjects generally, like? Um, be besides uh, passive question, well, uh, this one, this one, I believe, uh, really most of people do not know. Like the past year question, I believe, uh, yes, some of people know that uh, if you keep doing past year question, you might able to score well. But these tips, I, I believe most of the people do not know that uh, you have to try to uh, do some state paper questions as well. Oh, state paper questions. Okay, okay. Yes. So, uh, guys got it? State paper questions? And, uh, yeah, because uh, I would like to share it exclusively. Sometimes, uh, if you don't believe me, it's fine. Uh, you can be, you can look it by yourself. Whereby sometimes, uh, if you look carefully, the past year question paper, right? Uh, most of the questions they are from state papers. For example, uh, uh, during my SPM itself, uh, uh, while I was uh, revising my studies, uh, when I observed past year questions like uh, SPM uh, 2016, 2017, I observed that uh, some of the questions are from other state uh, paper questions like uh, from Kerda, Kelantan, Sabah. There, there are some states, uh, if you if you do your own analyze, analysis, you will realize that there are some state paper uh, questions that are quite famous for the uh, SPM questions, you know, if you if you observe carefully, if you if you can do this, la, I hopefully. Okay. So last time, um, for state paper questions, how, how did you get it? Uh? I mean, um, last last year. There are many ways. Actually, uh, at this uh, digital world, we, we, we don't have any excuses to say we, uh, we ca uh, cannot get the state paper question. There are many ways. For example, through online itself, uh, I've forgotten the website, but through online itself, you can search for the past year paper questions. Uh, sorry, state paper questions. <laughs> and then besides, uh, if you are hard work enough, if your parents, uh, they take good care of you, they might send you to a good tuition because uh, because I, I myself, uh, besides uh, online, uh, I also get the state paper, state paper questions from my uh, tuition teachers as well. Ah, okay, okay. I, I know that one of your... Uh, Teachers is actually Mr. Freddy who recommended yes. us is uh, teaching uh, chemistry with us on our intensive SPM revision class. So uh, I, I heard a lot about you from him. Yeah. So uh, how was your experience? Um, let's talk about chemistry. I think we didn't cover about chemistry yet so far. Yeah. So um, you also taking um, you are taking A level or are you taking foundation? Uh, yeah, I took foundation uh, in science. Ah, okay, so that, that's why the day you say um, uh, organic chemistry, inorganic chemistry to me. Okay, so um, uh, for this chemistry, um, okay. improve your chemistry in a short period of time. Uh, chemistry. Uh, chemistry, give me some time. <laughs> Can, no problem. So uh, is there any um, like um, reference or maybe tips uh, hacks, uh, or, or maybe any, um, like, what, what did you learn from Mr. Freddy, or maybe what did you learn from your school teacher, um, and, and how did you improve your chemistry in a short period of time? Uh, if, from, if from my tuition teacher, I would say, uh, uh, he's definitely my tuition teacher. I really have to appreciate him a lot. Uh, 
I will say him uh, as as my first reason for my success in chemistry because uh, as a tuition teacher, he he not only did what uh, what should a teacher tuition teacher do for students, he also did something more which made uh, my success in chemistry. I believe that uh, like uh, sometimes right uh, as a uh, as a hardworking student, lah. As a hardworking student, you have to be. Sometimes you have to, uh, like, be, uh, don't really take care of time. You know, sometimes, right? Okay, this is, uh, this is one of my uh, reasons for my success. Uh, after my tuition class ended, usually I spend some time uh, with my tuition teacher, you know, to discuss something. Uh, no matter it is uh, in our syllabus or not, you know, because right. Uh, Ah, this one also is as uh, I I believe is an exclusive tip. Uh, we mm -hmm. don't we don't really study for exam. We study we study for knowledge. That one I believe is really important, which many students mistake because many students they will say, uh, I study just for pass. I study just for uh, get this grade in exam, but actually study for knowledge. That's the most important thing. Yes, I I think this all the best quotes you know for the day. Uh, you study for, you don't because study. this thing actually I really follow in my life. I don't really study for exams. I really study for knowledge. That's why I believe uh, not only me, many people also outside there, they are successful, leading a successful life because really knowledge is important, not for exams. <laughs> yes. So this is the part where all of you who are listening to this live, I can tell you, study, studying, you study for yourself. You're not studying for teachers. You're not studying for exam. You're not yes. studying for the government. You know, you're not studying for your parents. You're studying for yourself. If you yes. understand something fully, and uh, one day you will find that it's really useful for you. It's really useful for you. So uh, uh, one second, sir. Because right, many uh, many times, right, uh, many students they uh, they have a mindset like this. Uh, after we complete the exam, okay, this knowledge can be de de deleted from my brain, uh, from my brain, and then start playing games and so on. This is our lifestyle. But we should understand, uh, knowledge is not something uh, after we use it and then delete it. Knowledge is something we have to use it continuously in order to generate even more knowledge in ourselves. Yeah. It's true. It's really, really true. So uh, I, I want all of you who are listening to this live, uh, like, you know, if you can, you hard code in your uh, brain or whatever about this thing. And uh, you, you will be successful because of the, your attitude, because of your um, how, how serious you treat your own knowledge. Eh? It's not about just for exam, okay? Yeah, uh, okay. Good, good. What do you mean? Uh, wait, uh, let me see. Uh. Uh, I got two questions for you. Uh, I think okay, guys, you can type your questions below. You can type your questions below and uh, so that we can actually give you uh, the answers that you want, okay? So uh, your subjects, let's talk about Pendidikan Islam. I know there are some um, Malay uh, audience as well. So um, how did you study your Pendidikan Islam? I, I also don't know about Pandika Islam. I never, never took any Islam subject. Pandika mm, Islam. Uh, well, for Pandika Islam, right, uh, if you ask me, I will say uh, you have to pay attention in in the class especially you know if you if you if you are muslim student you will surely know most of the topics in pandidika islam they are about stories of uh, uh, story of our uh, our islam something like that i mean most of it are story besides stories then just about as more or less same to the moral stories like uh, how to behave yourself something like that so i mean yeah most importantly pandidika islam uh, it needs stories so uh, during the class Try your best to pay attention uh, when your uh, teacher is teaching. You know, try to um, try to pay attention. I, I mean, uh, especially try to understand the story that uh, the, your teacher teach you. Because sometimes uh, we 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 do we have a mindset that uh, uh, like stories are always boring, something like that. Actually, it's not like that. Uh, you know, because because if you ask me about Panika Islam, really Panika Islam is something about you have to understand the whole story. And then uh, after you understand, and then while your teacher, uh, this one also I believe is an exclusive tip for all of you. Uh, no matter it's Panika Islam or biology or chemistry or whatever subjects, as long as uh, 
when your teacher is teaching you something, uh, try not to just uh, uh, focus. I mean, try not just to. Uh, looking at your teacher, you know, something like uh, doing nothing, you know, try to always use your hands, you know, try to uh, jot down something. If you ask me, right, uh, I will I will tell you this, uh, ex my experience as my own experience. Uh, I, during my physics uh, tuition class, right, most of the time, 99.99%, most of the time, uh, my my hands are always busy writing something, you know. Yes, unfortunately, I don't have my physics notes right now. So most of them are my physics notes are full of the words, you know. Uh, if you ask me, uh, do you understand all of it? Yes, I understand, but I'm not sure about third party. I mean, what I'm trying to tell is uh, try to uh, maximize your hands by writing. Always try to write something when your teacher teaching you. Uh, sometimes if unnecessary also I write down if you ask me why because some somehow it might be helpful for me in my future for example uh, some words which I don't know you know at that time I don't care I know or don't know I write it first later only I do my own self analysis and then I will realize okay this word I know this word I don't know then I do my own revision uh, same goes to the knowledge you know like uh, uh, it's physics be, be physics or chemistry or biology all these subject, subjects right uh, if you if you are a good student you suppose when your teacher is teaching you, you should be uh, active in writing, you know, active in writing on what they taught you. Uh, because, right, uh, our brain, our brain, right, during uh, each and every class, we, uh, it's about only up to 20 or 30 minutes we can focus, uh, maximize, maximally. After that, right, uh, we, we, we will start to be feeling tired, you know, uh, feeling sleepy. So uh, my advice is, yeah, uh, no matter how sleepy you are, try to active uh, by keep writing something. At least, right? At least, uh, let's say you are really uh, feeling sleepy after the class ended, you might take a short nap, and then after that, uh, try to um, do your own analysis on what you have written, what your teacher might taught you. You might feel like it's really, it's really extremely helpful. You know, I believe uh, it will be helpful for you all as well. Yeah, I think <sighs> this is a very good tip. And uh, a lot of you, uh, um, when it comes to learning, there are three types of people. I don't know whether you're aware or not. Three types of people. One is uh, people who learn visually, visual. They have to see things to understand things. Okay. So another one is they have to listen to learn. This one is auditory. So they, if you ask them to learn from pictures, it's not the best way for them. But for them to listen to teacher, they learn the most. And... Third one is kinesthetic. Kinesthetic means uh, they have to move their body one. So when some, some people, when they learn, uh, they have to move their body all around one. They, if they ask them to sit quietly, uh, watching and listening, uh, they learn nothing. So they have to add on, you know, like, okay, uh, this, uh, this chemistry, this atom is like this, then until learn here, this is how it breathes, you know. So they by using action, their gesture, they learn the most. So I want all of you to understand that uh, you need to know what is the best way to learn. Are you visual person or you auditory person or are you kinesthetic? So uh, if you don't know, you use all methods. Huh? You watch, you listen, then you use your hand as well. So whatever that Jubail mentioned, um, she was, uh, he was writing. So this is also one good way because by writing, you are moving your brain. And while you are listening to teacher, you are listening. And when you're watching teacher what they write, then also you learn. So you make use of your sensory to memorize things, okay? So students, understand your own um, learning behavior, uh, your own style, yeah? And uh, yeah, I think that's good tips. So, um, okay, great tips. I realized that. <laughs> so, okay. Um, let's say, Joel. Yeah. If a... Uh, Important, important um, advice to this year's students uh, who are going to take exam end of the year. They only left with half a year, right? Only half a year. Yeah. And um, how, what, what would you recommend them to do? Uh? Like only left uh, with half a year? For, okay, let's say those who are not prepared yet. Uh, we don't want to talk about those who already prepared very well. Those who still have a lot of, they don't understand the concept, you know, they're pretty weak in su certain subjects. What would be your best advice to these people who are not prepared yet and what they can do in the next six months if you were them? Let's say if you were you were them. 
Mm, okay, well, uh, try to get some good friends because uh, teamwork is important. Sometimes uh, this is this is also be my successful tip as well. Uh, during my school days, I, I I love to I love to study in a team. You know, uh, be be a uh, two people or three people or four people up to, but don't be too many as well because too many there sure will be someone who keep. Uh, keep making noises and then ended up with nothing you learn nothing then it's useless already uh maximum try to be like four people a group something like that and then uh, share, uh try to yeah try to do group studies uh so whatever you don't know you ask your friends and then whatever you know try to share it you know sometimes we we feel like we, when we know something we do not uh we do not wish to uh, tell it to others uh but you believe it or not, uh, many, some of the great persons, some of uh, scientists, they say that when you start to teach others, right, whatever you know, you will be more, uh, you will remember it more uh, of that knowledge and you will get more knowledge uh, in future as well. So try to share knowledge with others. And then, yeah, of course, if back to our topic, uh, for those who didn't prepare, yeah, you can do uh, uh, group studies, you know, you get some good friends. I'm sure, although if you are, uh, if you didn't score well you you are not a good student but uh you can get a good friend uh, you know like a topper and then you try to uh ask them i'm sure it will be helpful you can you can score well uh apart from that you can um just try your best if you if you didn't if you until today you did still uh, haven't started anything just try your best still uh, i believe still haven't it's not that late just uh as, assume you just started your uh, school life uh, start from a you uh, i believe you still can do it do your best and then of course uh, most importantly right um we don't actually we don't really uh, look at the grades you know some some people they really thought uh, must uh, must score a if didn't score a then uh, it's like uh, uh, my parents will uh, my, my parents are not satisfied something like that all those stories suddenly come no actually it's not like that uh, well just do your best whatever you can just do your best uh, uh, just do your best as long as as because because right as when you do your best you will have a self satisfaction you know that's that's enough already if you ask me uh, i was i was aiming to get 10 a plus you know honestly i i was aiming to get 10 a plus unfortunately i can't but still if you ask me then how is my life yeah i'm living a successful life uh, let me show you this uh, now actually i'm studying my degree program previously uh, in my pre u program i score a cgpa of four flat four flat is oh. <laughs> yeah four flat. Oh, guys oh, four flat ah. i also never score four flat in my new studies you know <laughs> and I'm telling this right, not not to show off myself. I'm telling this because some people thought uh, SPM is the everything. No, SPM is like the starting of your life, just like that. After SPM, your life still has to move on. You still can be successful as well. So yeah, what yeah. else? Oh. <laughs> I think that's I, great. That's great. <laughs> like like my like my biology right. Uh, during my uh. B E S P M or before S P M, I didn't score A in my biology, but then now I score A, A flat uh, in biology. <laughs> so, mm. uh, yeah, just do your best. As long as you satisfy of what you did, then it's fine. Uh, you know, and also you have to like be keep consistent. You know, sometimes people uh started something and then don't con don't uh if they suddenly uh be fallen. I mean that. If they, if they fail, then they feel like, okay, we, we don't move on. They just leave it like that. You, you cannot be like that. You, know, you have to keep consistent. If you, let's say if you want to get a tone muscle body, you, know, you, you must keep uh, doing your workout every day. Not uh, you, if you start today and then tomorrow you will get a, a good muscle. You know, not, not, not like that. You have to be, keep consistent on what you are doing. You know, if you let's say if you if, if you ask me, uh, I I'm just going to start on today. Um, uh, start to revise all all these things. Uh, can I su be successful or not? Well, uh, it depends. If you keep consistent from today until the last day, if you keep consistent as long as you are consistent, uh, at least you will get something more than uh what you have uh right now. So yeah, consistency is important. Yeah. Uh, all right, we are getting a treat. It's like more than what I asked for. 
question is like talking about life already. Consistency is, is, is important, yeah. To be honest, consistency and getting a fall flat is really, really not easy. And this is how um, when, when you have the right attitude in life, you are um, you are on the way to succeed in life. And we are not talking about you must get 10 A plus, then you can successful. Uh, a lot of people misunderstand that. But my question to you is, have you done your best? Have you, have you cultivated a good um, habit? Have you cultivated a good attitude for yourself? I think that is the, the most thing we want, we will get uh, from doing our best in SPM. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I think we, we got to move on to the next speaker. But uh, I think, is there any last word from uh, Joel to, to the crowd? Mm, well, uh, actually, while studying, also, also don't be too stressed. Uh, don't be studying all the time. Try to relax yourself. Maybe perhaps you can uh, see some greenery things, you know. Uh, scientists also believe that when you are, when you, look at greenery substances, uh, your mind will relax. And then uh, before I end, let me tell you a chemistry joke. <laughs> well, <laughs> okay. Don't drink water while studying because chemistry says uh, water will decrease the concentration. Okay, that's all. Thank you. <laughs> okay, that's good one. Thank you so much, Wael. Uh, hope to have you soon. Yeah, thank you so much. Okay. All the best in your study. <laughs> Oh, thank you, sir. And then also all the best to everyone here. You uh, do your best. You can, you, of course, you can achieve it, uh, believe it, uh, and then start doing, stop dreaming. That's all. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Okay. Goodbye. Bye. Uh, okay. So, okay, guys, uh, I like to, um, to two points, two points, uh, just before I move to the last, uh, guest speakers for the day, uh, um, Shelby, okay? So, uh, yeah, for those who are still online, share this out because we love more and more people to watch this. They may just come in for uh, uh, maybe for one um, one sessions, but I think some some tips and important tips, um, things that shared by the speakers actually um, will change how they feel and they might change their life, okay? So this is how I, I see this session, um, how important it is for every single one of you. So two things I want to recap from uh, Jubail sharing. First is you learn the most when you teach. Yes, it's true. Um, I remember I was giving tuition to my peers. That means um, when I was in Form 6 at SPM, um, my, my biology, I think um, most of my subjects were really good. Before I went to Japan, actually, I also took up SDPM uh, just to fill up the, the number of years because in Japan, you need 12 years to proceed to university. So I took a pre uh, which is SDPM. So uh, I, I, I was uh, studying. So uh, I, I was teaching my friends, like, what are the important tips and, and how what did I learn from the teacher? How can I explain to them better so that even those who don't understand it, they can understand better? So the moment when I realized that... Uh, when I understand well, and I can make my friends understand also, this is the moment where I will never forget about that. Um, this is true story, okay? Whenever I realize that if I can make my friends understand, I will never forget about that theories. Never ever. So if you want to be successful in life, try to teach others um, about things that you know. You learn better. Uh, you, you know how to explain in terms, simple way that they, uh, those who don't understand can also understand. Uh, so teach people, uh, you know, don't, don't keep everything to yourself. The more you share, the more you get, yeah, the more you understand. So this is one tip. So uh, other than that, it's about the memory thing. Um, remember that the memory, the, let's say you are given an interval. Okay, you are given the interval. Uh, let's say thirty minutes. Okay, the first, the first uh, three to five minutes you will remember the best, and the last three to five minutes you will remember the best. So it's like the first and the last part. Human beings are like that. We always remember the first and the last one. The in between one we always tend to forget. Okay, so if you ask me, what will be the best way to plan your exact uh, your studies is that. Uh, you might want to do 15 or 30 minutes intervals. That means after you study for 
15 minutes to half an hour. Then you take a short break, go to um, this uh, hot, a toilet or whatever, then come back to study or do some light exercises, keep yourself freshen up first, then you continue your next interval. That means you break your study time two hours into three to four sessions. Then the more intervals you have, then uh, the, the better you memorize. It's, I mean, human brains works um, like, like magic, lah, okay? So if you know how, how brain works and you plan your study, you learn the most, okay? Um, yeah, that's two cents from me, okay? So um, now I like to, how many of you learn something? If you learn something, can you comment, uh, say, uh, learn below? Because I want to see, is it really true? Yeah, it's a lot. A lot of you getting a lot of content, share knowledge. That's good, that's good. So, okay, uh, I'll invite Shelby up and uh, let, let's talk to Shelby. And, yep. Hello, Shelby. Can you hear me? Hi. Yeah? Okay. Hi, can you say uh, hi, yeah. Shelby? Hi, can you just greet Shelby? Uh, Shelby is from Penang, my hometown. <laughs> Hi, Shelby. Okay. So, um, okay. Good things. So, um, can you introduce yourself, Shelby? Like, where are you Hi, from? I'm Shelby. I'm from Penang, Chinese Girls High School. I'm from Penang. And I graduated last year. Okay. So, uh, Penang Chinese Girls School. So, uh, for us, last time we were studying in Chongling. So, um, we are boys' school. Then, um, Penang Chinese Girls are all girls' school. So, for us, it's like, oh, when we see uh, Penang Chinese Girls High School, girls, we get very excited, you know. So, it's like, uh, for us in Chongling, the boys' school tends to be like that. I still got that kind of uh, memory in my brain. Lah. Okay. So, uh, okay. So, okay, shall we? Um, what were the subjects that uh, you took uh, for last year SPM? Um, five core subjects, three languages, mm -hmm. and Sajar and Moro. Hey, uh, people cannot see you. Uh. Wait, uh, let me see. How can I put you on? Uh, okay. Can you see Shelby? Uh, wait, uh. Hey guys, uh, wait, I think there's technical issue because I, when I look at the Facebook, I can't see you. <laughs> they can't see you. Wait, uh. can't see. They, they, cannot, they, they want to see your face. Wait, let me see. Um, I just adjusted. Uh, maybe. Wait, uh. waiting out. Wait, uh, guys, technical issue. Uh, oops, still cannot let. Uh, they cannot see your face. Oh, uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Can already, can already. Okay, okay. Fine, fine, fine. Can finally now can. Okay, good, good, good. <laughs> okay, so uh, what, what was the <clears throat> that you took? Huh? I took five core subjects, three languages, and Sajara and also moral. Ah, okay. So the the standard uh subjects lah. Okay, yeah. okay. So um, what like. What uh just now we talk about sejarah, we talk about uh I think moral, uh, bio, we talk chemistry, oh, physics, okay. <laughs> so um uh what like, like how how did you prepare for your physics? Because um I mean you we know, talk about for, physics. for physics I usually read up a check chapter before the lecture starts. So that during the lecture time, I can use my time to solidify and also practice the concepts. So you also can get a teacher lesson during the lecture time. Like you wouldn't feel con um like confused. Okay. Uh okay. I think Shelby, your screen is uh um uh, uh freezes there. So um can can you maybe I don't know change your um data because. It, it lags now the screen. She's lagging. Okay. Yeah. Wait, uh, she will change her data. Okay, how many of you have questions? Uh, quickly type below the questions you want to ask about physics to um Shelby. Um yeah, you can yeah, you can. Okay, you, you can continue while while she's um connecting. Okay. Any questions uh, you guys can ask? Okay, uh, let's give her some time. Uh, okay, you can see already. I shall be. Uh, how to stop comparing 
your studies with other friends. <laughs> okay, can. Uh, yeah, wait, I think she's back. Can, I think now is better. Yeah, okay, cool, cool. Okay, continue. Okay, do you write down notes for physics? Um, I read the notes prepared by my tuition teacher, which is very good. Yeah. Ah, so you and your your tuition, teacher, teacher, yeah. your, your tuition teacher already prepared the notes for you, lah. Yeah, it's very short and precise, so like you can get straight to the point, like not like all words and all. It's like more to point. And after reading the chap, I will complete the exercise given by my school teacher and also tuition teacher. Ah. Um, so no I met any difficulties. Um, I will insist that the question is solved before I hit the next question. Okay, okay, okay. I think I think getting good notes, getting um, good guidance from teachers are really important. Um, for those um, that you you want to prepare for your re revision, I think it's important to have that. And uh, there's also someone asking uh, how to improve uh, paper two for your physics. <laughs> Okay. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> excuse me. Sorry. Uh. Okay. Wait. Ah. Uh, let's let's wait for Shelby. Um. I think. Uh. She's back. Yes. Okay. So. Um. Uh, how to improve paper two? <laughs> yeah. Hi, Shelby. Can you hear us? Yeah, sorry, I just came. Okay, can no problem. And if you have any questions, can you uh you, you can continue to uh this uh pack the questions below and uh and and you know this is your last chance okay uh we have uh shall we the last top students that we are interviewing so if you have any questions you can type as many as you want yeah so um the connection is not so stable right now so um i, I will start taking your questions and once uh, she's back uh live um, then uh, we can um, ask her continue hi hi mr airy hi how to understand the physics concept? Well, uh, she's still connecting. Uh, let, let's give her some time. How to control our time? Oh, hey, a lot of you have been asking about time. Uh. I, be, I, I already explained about time management just now. Okay, plus all the tips by the top students. How many of you still want to ask about time? <laughs> okay, so you can ask. Uh, okay, just joking. But uh, for timing, uh, it's... Uh, Okay, uh, for timing, it's important to um, practice time yourself. Uh, use the alarm clock uh, beside so that you, you train your speed. Exam is not just about how good you're in answering. If you're slow, then you miss out a lot on precious time. So train yourself to, to, to time uh, better for all the questions. And, and you have to know that mark allocation. That's the reason why people put one mark, two mark. If it's one mark, two marks, that means the importance are different. So one mark should be maybe one minute or 30 seconds. It depends on how you structure it. So you have to plan yourself really well. Yeah. So um, it's important. So you're also good and excellent. Uh, yes, I am. I was uh, last time, um, 18 years ago. Okay. Drink water, please. Yes. Uh, I'm looking for my water. Yes, okay. I'll drink. Um, yeah, she's okay. I'll put her back. Okay. Uh, hi, shall we? Uh, is it okay? Yeah. Hi. Stable now. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. yeah. Uh, okay. So some of them are asking uh, questions. Let me open my live uh, because I'm. I, I need to watch the live in order to get the questions. Please speak my questions. Okay, have you have okay? Someone asking, have you scored low marks for your physics? Ah? Um, my lowest was seventy-five. Oh, lowest was seventy-five marks. Okay, so um, and how did you 
make sure that you always score high marks. Uh, um, that was the head of year of Form 4. And of course, I was shocked by the result. And then actually, after studying a few chapters, and I, I, I realized I quite like physics because it's all about concepts and not memorizing. For physics, actually, you need to be quite um, careful for paper three because there are a lot of units that um, that will cause you to lose marks that so prevent from that. And also, um, every time I do not understand the topic, I also will find YouTube for the videos about the topic. Okay. Well, this is the the first tip that we say um getting from the students that is uh, to check out YouTube. Okay. <laughs> so I think it's important because they need to understand the concept. So um so you were using YouTube uh is it just for physics or for other subjects as well? Um for um whenever I met something I do not understand and it's about theory. So YouTube can explain about it. Ah, yes, there's a lot of uh, free resources, I think, in when it comes to understanding theory and, and they put it a very well uh, explanations for each and every um, theory. Okay, okay, that's good, that's good. Um, Some people think, yeah. yeah, anything you want to add, add on to this point? Um, whenever I make difficulties in questions and I refer back to the notes and then I will do something like this. Oh, um, it's like every important formulas for every um every topic. Then I will stick in different colors so it looks more interesting. So I review it before the day, the day of the exam. Okay, so guys, um, this is uh, how Shelby is taking down notes that uh, she thinks that she need to further memorize or even further remind herself of. So um, if you need to do so, uh, there are many ways of doing it, okay? So um, yeah, you do it. Then, um, and for um, for concepts, because a lot of people have been asking about, um, how do you memorize concept? What was your opinion on that? Um, like, for concept, okay. For concepts, sometimes like um, you can use acronyms to memorize the concepts like um, V equals to IR, then you can uh, memorize it as the short forms. And also like for electromagnetic spectrum, in increasing frequency, you can make like, because it's like consists of seven or eight um, words. So you can pick the first alphabet and make your own sentence. So you can remember it more clearly. Mm. So acronyms is one of the uh, memory techniques as well. So I think um, there, there are many memory techniques that are um, available in the market and uh, you can choose the one that you are comfortable with. And then uh, if you don't know, we also welcome you to join us for next week memory masterclass. Actually, next week I'm having a memory masterclass for them. <laughs> So it's like um, a preview for them. And then uh, after that, in July, we have the proper three hours memory masterclass. So um, where you will get to learn more advanced techniques in uh, memorizing. So another special SPN drama. Lah. So it's like um, we, we always give all sorts of um, different, different kinds of uh, values to our students. Um, okay, wait, uh, let me see. How do you memorize the procedures? There's someone asking. Procedures. Yeah, procedures. Yeah. Oh, um, basically, um, for physics, only have three or four procedures, and and also the diagram. So usually, I will draw out the diagram on a A A four paper. So like, whenever I draw out a diagram, I will like imagine the procedures, and actually, you can remember it by drawing out the diagram and label it. Yeah. Mm. I think drawing out the diagram itself helps uh, a lot, really helps a lot. I remember also last time I did a lot of dry, uh, diagram drawing, it helps me to solidify my understanding. Um, okay, okay. So any any more tips like on uh, physics? Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, for paper three, there'll be two um experiments for you to choose right one for form four and one for form five and um, my teacher tuition teacher asked us to remember uh, study both of it so in case like sometimes it only came out for form four so you also can answer it and for last year i answered both of the paper three experiments so just for in case oh so you answer both 
Yeah. So uh, you wouldn't mess it up so easily. So did you have enough time? Uh, because when you answer both, no issue in um, timing. Paper, paper three is quite, um, the question is quite short. So compared to paper two and paper one. So mm. paper three, you have, you have enough time if you use the time efficiently. Okay. So efficiency in managing of time uh it's very very important time yourself daily la okay students <laughs> you have to time yourself practice timing already you don't wait until last minute okay and uh uh wait uh, let me see uh okay i think that pretty much uh, the talk we talk about the science subjects let's go back to um uh, i like to talk about this because um i know that um, you are also a student of our existing teacher. So I just like to understand how uh, how you improve your Malay uh, studying together with uh, Mr. Lee Chu Hock, Chegu Lee Chu Hock. So uh, how was your Malay uh, actually, to be honest, when you first started, uh, before you started learning from him? Uh, before I start, uh, I started learning from him since Form 1. So. Wow, Form 1. Yeah. Last time uh, when I started yeah. learning from Mr. Lee Chu Ho, uh, was uh, Form 3, you know. There was no Form 1 and Form 2 classes. So we, we learned everything yeah, so from, I was lucky. from Form 3. So starting from Form 1, oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. So I, I, I assume that from Form 1 to Form 5, uh, because of him, your melee has always been good luck. <laughs> Yeah, Average. right. So, um, what, what would be your advice to those that, that are struggling with Malay? Um, for those who are struggling with Malay, and I advise you to can um, read more novels and also you can put more attention on the karangan. But for karangan, each paragraph must be evenly distributed and with about 10 sentences for each paragraph. And, the best is you can add in Peribasa, Chonto Bukti, and also quotes quoted by famous people for each paragraph. So you have a high chance to score A+. Plus. Okay, and so... You can find the Chonto Bukti from Lee Chu Hock's Karangan, like the <laughs> news, or you can find it from Brita Haryan. Yeah. Ah, yeah, I think that's nice, Brita Haryan. Last, last time, I, I forgot which magazine already. I was reading magazine, Um, I think by... Dewan Bahasa, and also Brita Haryan, and also Mr. Lee Chu Karangan. So that's how I score my A-plus as well for Malay. I think that is good tips. So for all of you, uh, I think um, it's important uh, to, to equip yourself with more knowledges, okay? Um, it's really, really important. And, uh, and someone is asking, how do you write your pendahuluan? Um, <laughs> Oh, I, I usually Google from, I Google the Pondahulan, then I type Pondahulan Yang Menari, and like I find those with some, some a bit of bombastic words. So I uh, memorize a few, few of it, then you can use it in the Karangan, like, because I'm choosing text most, most of the time. Okay, okay. So here, here are the tips, yeah. la, okay? So guys, um, you, Google is your best name. Um, for us back then, no Google, <laughs> so uh, everything was the uh, Vita Harian or even the magazine. Okay, so um, yep. Uh, wait, uh, let me see. How can you master chapter? Okay, what would be your advice uh, from you to students who um read in certain sub any subjects? Uh, let's say, um, uh, because now they only have um half a year, uh, left. Yeah. Okay, so what would be your advice to them, like to, to pick up from where they are okay. to score A+. Plus? My advice is you spend the most time on the subjects you are weak in because we are taking SVM and um, everybody of us will be taking like 9, 10 or 11 subjects and there will be subjects that we we are weak in and also those, are, those subjects we are slightly better in. So for those subjects I'm weak in, I usually spend most of the time and um do a timetable for those subjects like every three days i will go to read about the subjects like mm. and also so, most, most important is practice yeah because active recall is very important like you can retrieve all the knowledge from your brain after you have absorbed from your teacher 
So that's the keyword active recall. Yeah. For those who don't know what is active recall, uh, that means um, after you learn, you need to recall back whatever you learn. Uh, it's not something that you say you don't revise. Uh, then all of a sudden in, during exam, you hope that you can recall back. That's not active recall. Well, that's passive recall already. <laughs> you need active recall to keep on recalling back what are the things you learn. If you forget certain parts, then you go back and refer to it. Um, I think that is key, key, key uh, point for all of you to learn. Okay. Um, okay. And uh, what else? Like, what, what are the tips that you can give to our friends here? Or uh, your juniors here? Um, um, if like you meet situations like teachers are rushing about a topic, you can just write down all the words you heard and you can analyze it when you go home. So you won't miss something out. And also study is a daily basis. You need to practice it every day. So in order to get A plus, yeah. Okay. So starting from today, each and every one of you, because if your goal is to score A plus, then you gotta plan your study lah, okay? So no no more like uh, just relaxing, wait until one or two months before to do the revision. Um, and there's uh, one, one, one um, student asking, what books do you recommend for us to improve in uh, Karangan, uh, uh, that means, and also English essays? Any books uh, that you use reference in the past? English books that I use for essays are usually O level from Singapore. You can buy it from um, popular, but it's quite pricey, but it's worth of it. Yeah. Okay. So I think you guys can. Karangan, look um, for Karangan, I usually pick from popular also. And also, Mr. Lee Chuhok Karangan is always enough for me because every week there is a new Karangan and with new topics and facts. And every time when I go home, I will read once again and then I write out the five points from the Kangan. I, I think that, that... Teacher usually... mm. yeah. so, so my school teacher usually asks us to to do a Ranka Kangan every week about a certain topic. So whenever your exam near is near, then you can revise back the topic and you know what what you're going to write in the essay with the five points. Hmm. I think that is something that uh, a lot of students may miss out. Um, they when, when they see Karangan, they straight away they say, Oh, I want to write Pandaulan already. I want to go into the um, the, the three points and then I uh, close with the um, summary. The thing is um, they don't practice um, writing out points uh, to, to have the Ranka Karangan. Um, during daily practice. I think your point is really, really solid. Students, all of you, if you want to score A, um, if you if you plan to take all these um, facts, um, uh, Karangan, uh, you need to practice um, planning your own um, points, uh, even from daily. And I suggest you take most of the time um, in the beginning before you start writing um, in doing the, 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 the points form. Yeah, I think this theory work anytime, like even when you go to university. If you start writing or even you start doing anything without plan, then you plan to fail. <laughs> okay, so uh, yeah. And left um, and left ten minutes um for checking all the ejaan and grammar in your karangan before you pass up your paper, because ejaan could be dangerous to to snacks too. Ah, I think that is also important. True, uh, this is like an uh, uh, important step that a lot of students may not be aware of. They finish the questions, they submit. I know for objective questions, sometimes they have the time to check back whether I'm, I'm circling, answering the right questions or not. This is a, a must before you submit. But uh, for Karangan, uh, I think and in any essays, uh, English, Chinese, and uh, Malay, you have to double check. And whatever suggested by Shelby is important. It may cost you marks that will help, will, will, will cost you your A+. Plus. Yeah. So remember this step, okay? Um, awesome, okay? Like, uh, okay. So 
um, what, what 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 else do you advise them um, to make use of the 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 six months left to um, to prepare for the you exam? Yourself, you find yourself cannot focus. You also can use the YouTube channel called Study with Me. Then you study with the YouTuber for two hours. In between that, you have like few section of break, and also so you can more focus. And there also music with it. <laughs> okay oh this is advanced already for me uh to use youtube study with me um i think that is my oh my level okay so i think uh suggested by uh, shelby if you find this is useful for you uh you also can uh practice lah. i think um whatever works for you the most important thing is um you you need to find your right the the right uh, study uh methods yeah yeah, I mean, anything else? Like, uh, let's let's give them one one last tips, then uh, then we, we close uh, um, for the day. Um, you can make a timetable which consists of how many days exams left and also how many things you need to accomplish before the exam, so you wouldn't miss it, and also it serves as a motivation to keep you moving on. Or you can prepare a whiteboard, then you like write out every chapter so you can cross it whenever you finish a chapter. Mm, okay, that's good, that's good. Um, yep, like, I think that's all from Shelby. And I think you have given a lot of tips to them. Um, a lot of new tips, you know, even to me, uh, I never thought of um, YouTube channel, like doing what, study with me. I'll, I'll check it out later, yeah. I think I think that's uh, really, really important tips. Um, yep, I think, uh, let's thanks. Um, Shelby for sharing um, her, her top tips with us. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. And uh, I, will, I wish all the best in your foundation studies or oh, A-level. You're taking A-level. Correct, correct. Okay. So uh, all the best. All the best to the SPN takers. Okay. Thank you so much, Shelby. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay, guys. Um, Thank you uh, for really paying attention um, to our sessions. And uh, I think uh, you all have learned a lot. How many of you have really learned a lot? If you learn a lot, can you type learn below? Learn, you know, you learn something. Then I know that uh, you, you, are, uh, you have learned something, okay? So actually, I have a lot of tips on, you know, it's like, um, because, um, from interacting with all the students, uh, um, top students, I actually know uh, what are the tricks in between that even I personally, I can share with you um, because there is a science behind what in learning. Whatever that you um, do, right, there is a, a science behind. And uh, the last part that Shelby shared is uh, uh, about the, the, the um, kind of like schedule and, and what I suddenly recall that will help you to study is that um, celebrate your studies as well, okay? Celebrate. Um, it's important to, um, for example, every, uh, every month, okay? If you really follow your schedule and you study hard and uh, you want to reward yourself, like um, you want to go for a good dinner or you want to take a big break, like, uh, or maybe anything that you love to do. So reward yourself, celebrate that kind of hard work. In, in, uh, it can be weekly, it can be monthly. This will help you to improve your learning so much more uh, better, okay? So this is important. And um, I, I hope that all of you would not uh, forget about uh, the things that we are mentioning today. Okay, so um, I have more things to share with you um, and, and I'll, I'll go back to my slides. And for those who are first time attending our sessions, uh, I'll be giving you a lot more tips about uh, what are our planning uh, for you. And I'll be announcing the uh, winners later after this. And those, those of you already left may not even get that um, like to be that lucky draw winner. Okay, so there are two prizes I'm giving out after this. Okay, so I'm going to share um, what I have. Um, okay, let me see. So, uh, okay. So just like I mentioned until this part, okay? And uh, this is the best part 
uh, to to share with all of you. And there are more things that I want you to stay until the end and learn from it. Okay, and uh, truly understand how to plan it well. Okay, so uh, revision is the key to A plus. This is uh, the summary for the day. No matter how hard you study, if you don't do revision, it means nothing. There's no active recall. There's no improvement of uh, the memory curve. And uh, because if lacking that, no matter how many times, um, even you study a day before your exam, you only can remember 30% or less than that if you are studying the whole new concept for the very first time. So uh, you need to understand this is science, okay? And uh, revision is not memorization. Revision is about rev revising your understanding. So you, when you do revision, you make sure you understand the whole concept. It's not about memorizing the keywords only, A, B, C, no. It's about memorizing the whole concept. You revise the whole understanding of the concept, revise again and again. So even though uh, then you will not be in the situations whereby you only remember words to words, okay? Then you won't suffer, okay? And uh, also, if you fail to prepare, then you prepare to fail. Okay, this is um, from my own experience. For those who don't prepare well, they tend to have a, a higher um, chances of uh, failing in the exams. Okay, so this is crucial. I want you to understand this and prepare well for your exam. And then, uh, revision is uh, is the Plan your revision well, and don't do your revision last minute, okay? So this is uh, the last part, which is revision, don't be late, don't be late. If you're late, then you get yourself panic, you got a lot of stress, okay? And uh, the comprehensive classes revision is uh, for those who are already in, I know you are in safe hands because the teachers already planned for you. For those who are not in, I'll just briefly go through this so that you clarify all your questions. Um, the six month intensive SPM revision classes are happening right now. And if you need the teachers to help you to plan and, and give you learn all the tips, right? This is best timing. Um, you cannot find elsewhere they are giving as intensive and as comprehensive as uh, transfer educations. And uh, six months you'll be going through form four and form five syllabus. And averagely you are taking one to two weeks uh, to cover one chapter or maybe less, or maybe one week, two chapters, it depends on how many chapters you have, yeah? And then uh, revision classes are not tuition classes. We are not tuition classes. We are here to help you to do revisions. And this is what a lot of students uh, in the market, the whole Malaysia, they always fail in doing revision. They are good in doing study. They are good in going to the school, but they fail in planning a proper revision class. This is where our Transcend Education Signature Program come in, which is our uh, intensive SPM revision class. So available subjects are these, Malay, English, Chinese, Maths, and Math Science, Physics, Chemistry, Bio, Sejara, and Account. So these 11 subjects, you can take the revision classes for six months or even seven months, okay? So uh, Malay, we have Mr. Lee Chu Hock, Mr. Wang Wei Fong, and also uh, Ms. Teo Wei Sing. So three of them will be teaching Malay, covering Komsas, and also they'll be covering Malay subject in either Chinese or even in Malay. Yeah, Mr. Lee will be covering uh, Malay in Chinese, and uh, Mr. Wong will be covering Malay in Malay. So this is the differences. English, uh, teacher Li Yen. So um, she's the English coach to even to, to CEO and executive. So if you don't learn from her, I don't know who else you can learn from because uh, learning English is a lifetime thing. It's never, it never ends at SPM. So if you want to learn, you want to learn from the best teacher in the market about um, even boosting your confidence in speaking. Yeah. So she is the very well-known English coach in the market as well as SPM teacher. Then uh, Chinese, we have uh, uh, Zhou Zile. So uh, teacher Zhou Zile, uh, the normal rate, the, sus the A ratio in uh, whole Malaysia is around 10%. But for him, all his students, the, rate, the ratio of getting A is 40 to 50%. So can you see it's four to five times higher than normal uh, national rate? So this is how effective his teaching is for Chinese. 
And Maths and MX, we have teacher Shermaine. And most of you, uh, if you are in the group itself, in our online Spanish drama 2020, you get to see how teacher Shermaine teach at Max. So in at Max, there are so many important steps and methods that um, she is teaching you. Yeah. So uh, and her notes are very precious, super easy to understand, and very easy to do revision before the exam too. And we have uh, physics, Mr. Lim Peng Chiu. He's the author to a lot of reference books, Yomu Bhakti, Oxford Faja. So and he also knows about the marking scheme very well as well. So if you don't learn from him, I also don't know where else you can learn from. Yeah. So he's really more than qualified. He's, he's also the guru to a lot of physics gurus as well. So you want to learn from him. Chemistry, we have Mr. Freddy. Just now, uh, Jubail was a student. So you can see from a normal student all the way until a four flat students. That's amazing improvement, yeah. So one of the uh, contributors to Zubaya's success is actually Mr. Freddy. So uh, it will make very sophisticated chemistry concept to be very simple. And biology, have Mr. Ko. So uh, I think Ernie just now, uh, 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 no, Zuni, uh, also uh, his student. So he's very famous in terms of giving trauma about bio and his method of explanation is superb and easy to understand for those who are our students you know and sajara as well um she 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 she, she marked the spm paper she knows all the tips so she'll be able to go aziza will be able to teach you a lot of tricks that you need to focus on when you answer your paper the last one uh we have chiku sri lam is like the ketua to a lot of uh, accounts teachers okay so uh uh, anything that you don't know about accounts, uh, it can help you to understand easily using very, very simple techniques. Yeah? And science, we have um, Chiku Barani. Chiku Barani is uh, the teacher that is uh, teaching science and that you can see everything that he teaches, uh, you can relate back to your uh, normal daily life. It, it makes your understanding so much easy. Timetable are this. I, uh, you can take a screenshot or go to payspm.com to get this. Um, detailed timetable so all the way uh from monday to sunday okay so these these are the uh the revision class that i'm going to announce the winner the one winner is going to win this so uh for those of you who stay until the end then uh, I'll, I'll choose one of you to get this then commonly asked questions uh like what is this seven day unlimited replay so all of you i know you're doing revision it's important to do a lot, a lot of replay, replay, right? So um, at all the sessions that happen within our revision classes, you get to replay for many, many times within one week, yeah? So don't worry about this. So uh, at the end of the year, before your actual exam or even trial exam, you release that in case uh, for you to do revision, yeah? So don't worry about that. You get a treat. Awesome, right? <laughs> And elite study group, yes, when you're in, you are in our portal. In the portal itself, you get to interact with other students. You ask questions to the teachers. And uh, this is where you learn the most. Because uh, for us, we think on ongoing questioning and answering uh, with the teachers is one of the key important factors in determining your success in scoring your results. Okay. So um, also these um, SPM Ramalan videos as one of the bonuses is uh, for those who are taking any subjects. Uh, if you are taking one subject, we'll be giving you Ramalan videos. This is like, um, perhaps we'll send you uh, one or two weeks before the SPM exams. Um, in During that time, uh, you'll be able to get the very, very specific, uh, um, the questions or even the topics that will come out uh, during exam. The teachers will do a recorded version and uh, they will send to you personally. So this is very precious one. You cannot get elsewhere because they are not doing it publicly. Only you uh, who are taking the revision class will have uh, access to that certain subject. Okay. So uh, this is the training that I have talked about, the Memory Masterclass. Me memory Masterclass is um, uh, provided by Mr. Lim Tik Hao. He's the World Memory Champion. The three hour live will be happening in July. Okay. So uh, next week, I think next week, the, um, Saturday, we'll be doing a memory masterclass preview. So just to let you know what is it all about. And for those who are following us uh, for, uh, I think, five subjects, uh, you'll be able to get the free access to these uh, three hour sessions in um, July. He's a trainer to our previous prime minister, at least four prime ministers, ex prime minister. Yeah. Um, Dr. Martin, yeah, see, Dr. Martin, and also the wife. 
Okay, the online spin drama will do it. And uh, just to let you know that uh, depending on the current stations of RMCO, uh, we are considering to do some physical traumas as well. So this is, uh, uh, I'll see how it goes, uh, uh, physical trauma and the online trauma. We'll have probably two options. If um, COVID-19 doesn't improve, then we might not do the uh, physical trauma. We only stick to the online spin trauma. So for those uh, who are with us, you get this um, SPM uh, trauma, Ramadan trauma. So uh, the, the prizes are all there. One subject, you get the uh, unlimited replay, seven days, elite study group, and one subject, Ramalan video. Uh, the cost is, uh, investment is 99 per month, okay? And uh, three subjects, you get the unlimited replay in seven days, and you get the elite study group, uh, and also the three subjects, Ramalan video. Then uh, the price is uh, 209 per month. Then after that, five subjects is, uh, you still get the unlimited replay, you got the elite study group, but this round for Ramalan video, you get 11 subjects. Yeah, not just five because you are already taking five. So we give you all the subjects that you need. Okay, so just now I mentioned already the 11 subjects, you get it all. So this is the most, um, I would say, uh, the best sellers of our signature revision program. Lah. Then the three hours also get it automatically. Uh, for those who are not taking five subjects, they have to pay a fee lah, to attend the class, the memory class. Uh, if you are with us for five subjects, automatically you get free. So it's 309 per month. So uh, yeah, the special promotions, uh, we are running until 22nd of June, 11.59 for this. Because last week when we organized the uh, um, drama part two, uh, there were a lot of technical issues and all that. So we decided to extend until 22nd June, okay, which is uh, Monday, 11.59. So um, don't waste this promotion. After this, the price will back to normal and the bonuses will be gone, yeah? So uh, make use of this. And uh, yeah, for those who ask about credit card, uh, you get 10, uh, 10 ringgit discount for any of the subjects. It's always 10 ringgit discount, okay? Uh, when you go to payspm.com, uh, this is also what you will see. That's uh, for those who take action pass, for the first 100 that sign up, right, you get the online spend drama. So for those who uh, sign up later more than uh, after 100 packs, right, then unfortunately you won't get the online spend drama. Those that join us early, uh, Trauma part one, uh, congratulations, uh, because you're already entitled for this. Uh. This is um, because we have changed the bonuses um, after that month. So you are you are getting a better price, you're getting more bonuses. So congratulations to you for making the right choice. Okay. So as we go by, uh, um, the bonuses will be less and the price will be higher because uh, this is uh, to be fair to everyone uh, who take action fast. The iPad test is for you to find out what would be your uh, personality, what kind of studies at this suit you the most? Yeah. So this one, um, our partner, EduLink, will also organize this and help you to do some testing to understand which subject is more suitable for you. Okay. It worth 100 ringgit. And then Transcend VIP memberships is uh, the one that we are going to have very soon in uh, July as we open our Translife online store where we will have a reference book, we have a stationery, so also we have um, uh, the school shirts and all that. So um, all the items that we are selling online uh, for our TransLife uh, VIP members, you get 15% off. Yeah, 15% off. It's just like popular, you know, you also get 10% get, uh, off, right? For us, it's 15% off for any of the items uh, we are selling there. So, and also you get invited to a lot of special drama um, on motivations, on, on health and fitness, on memory. So this kind of uh, classes will give you for free as well. So yep, the action fast. And uh, yep, when you go to the page, you see this credit card and also FPX, yeah? Then uh, limit the first 300 because we have limited seats for these bonuses. So take action pass. Uh, if it's, uh, the quota is hit, then we'll just close it. Uh, you got nothing to lose but everything to gain. Okay. Anything you go to payspm.com, hotline is uh, this. And uh, also you can WhatsApp us if you have any questions. Okay. So, uh, yeah. So this is a message to a lot of you that uh, get uh, first time. Uh, listen to trans life educations we are uh we are doing a lot of free um programs we're also doing a lot of paid programs um so uh, we have two running at the same time so happened that today the S special experience drama is the 
free version, free program. So uh, the ongoing program, uh, all these paid programs uh, for our existing uh, paid students. So uh, if you wish to understand more about this, just go to psbl.com understand about this. Okay. So uh, yep. How many of you have learned something so far? If you have learned something, and can you just comment, uh, learn below. I just want to see, learn, yeah? And, uh, okay, I won, I won. <laughs> so many people have been commenting, right? A lot of you must be our existing students. How many of you are not our existing student yet? Can you, can you comment? Can you comment below if you're not an existing student? I want to know who are our existing students, who are not, okay? Comment, comment me, lah. If you are, um, if if you are not our existing students, uh, yeah, I want to know. Like, let's let's take this fun, okay? I'm going to announce the winners anyway. Uh, like comment below, comment me. Then I know that you are not our existing students. Uh, okay, okay. I want to see. I want to see. Uh, how many are not our existing students? Or or how many of you are already our existing students? Ah, okay uh learn learn okay me <laughs> okay so uh yep uh you are if you are not our existing student put me okay so uh it's important i watch all trans life uh video yes yes okay yeah <laughs> okay so uh, i'm going to choose um uh, two. I'll start from uh, Translate Goodies first, okay? Uh, the cap uh, with the t-shirt and, and all, all the keychains and all that, okay? So uh, I'm just uh, I'm just scroll and, and the one uh, that share, comment and like, uh, you get picked, okay? So, okay, then I'll choose now. Uh, oh, this name, Bao, Bao Yi. B A O Y I I B A O Y I I. Let me type here B A O Bao Yi. Okay, congratulations, Bao Yi. <laughs> you just um, got your um, how to say your your transcend goodies. Yeah, the cap, the t shirt. Okay, okay, good, good, good. Bao Yi. Yes. Okay. Congratulations. So kindly contact us. Yeah. So uh, then we can arrange the goodies to be sent out to you. That's cool. Okay. And uh, we have one more. One more. So uh, this one, uh, the subject. Okay. Okay. That is a one terms and conditions for this subject. Okay. Uh, because I know some of you are our existing students. When you get this uh, subject right. Uh, you need to choose the subject that you haven't taken yet. Uh, this to be fair to other uh, paid students, okay? Um, so you need to choose a subject that you have you are not taking, and uh, then you get the the free learning for the for the uh, next six months because we want to assist you to learn the new subject. Uh, we don't want you to pick the same subject then try to um, like get the existing one. Uh, free no uh, it's for you to learn new subjects okay so uh and also uh if you are not our existing students then you can pick any subjects uh, that you like okay so uh okay so i'm going to pick and uh for those it's only for those who stay behind okay those of you who stay behind congratulations you are our big fans i love all of you uh, okay so i'm going to choose right now so let's see Okay, and uh, wait. Hey, no Cheryl. Wait, uh, let me let me do it again because you know there's a limitation in cut when it comes to um life. Okay. Uh, hey, wait. Wang. Oh, the the name got swapped out already. Wait, 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 wait. Not fair, not fair. Okay, uh, again. I'll do it again. Okay, uh, Krista Ui, Krista Ui, are you there? <laughs> Congratulations, uh, Krista Ui, C R Y S T L O O I, Krista Ui, congratulations, are you there? 
Yay! <laughs> Crystal, are you there? So uh, let's congratulate, uh, congratulate uh, Crystal Ui for winning this. And uh, yeah, I, and for us, you know, when we are doing this um, trauma, is it really takes a lot of effort. Crystal Ui, quickly, yeah, leave your comments. Yeah, congratulations. Uh, so, uh, and then contact us, contact us, um, message us uh, at our hotline. Uh, uh, no, you can WhatsApp us at the, the above 012-719-7701, okay? So for, um, for those of you um, that have been with us for some time, you know that whatever that we are doing, we are trying to help you as much as we can. So um, I really wish that um, there's one more surprise to all of you. And uh, because I know this is, uh, the, the financial situation is getting really, really tough right now. So uh, you we are preparing these programs just for you. And I'm announcing this for the very first time. And for those of you who are staying behind, I hope that you will get this chance to uh, to go out there and, and work something for yourself to lessen the burden for your parents. Even for parents who mm -hmm. are watching, I hope that this one also help you in um, getting some extra pocket money for your kids as well. So um, uh, this is it. So uh, this is uh, a revision program. So uh, if you introduce your friend and uh, they'll if they actually sign up with our SPM revision classes, then uh, you will actually get the 50 ringgit cash, okay? So, uh, and the thing is, and the thing is, only for those who are listening to this uh, live itself, yeah, you will get this deal. I think there's only 80 plus people. Uh, if you are introducing a friend, if they take one subject, it's 50. If the two, two subjects is 100, if you are taking three subjects, it's um, uh, 150. So if you are taking four subjects, it's um, 200. Okay, so for each subject uh, that they introduce, you're gonna get 50 ringgit. Okay, so this is um, only for those who are still staying behind the 80 plus people. Um, this is the um, deal that you are going to get. Okay, the rest who are not in this life, uh, they will not get it. Lah. So um, uh, make use of this opportunity to, to introduce a friend, great mission program at the same time, um, make some money for yourself and also for parents who are on this line um, you can recommend your friends um, where their kid also uh, whom their kid also need to attend this kind of revision classes hopefully with this effort uh, we get everyone uh, to to learn and we also make some extra pocket money as well so um, I guess uh, that's all from us today and uh, we have uh, also start ever since last week uh, we started the um, program for OKU and also Orphanage. We already have uh, OKU students that are taking our courses for free. So um, if you know friends who are OKU or even in Orphanage, then um, Transit Education is giving uh, free educations to OKU uh, centers and also Orphanage. Um, let them know this and they can enjoy any subjects for free. So this is our commitment to help the society as much as we can. Okay, so uh, with that, I wish all of you uh, the best in your studies and um, I'll see you very soon next week when we have the Memory Masterclass uh, preview. Okay, so I'll see you then. Bye-bye.